mindful of docking bay protocol at all times. Wayland Utah, building better worlds. Any news from Lethe Hayes? Sorry, sir. We're having a hard time reaching anyone. That storm probably... Damn. Must be one hell of a hurricane to cut us from the whole planet. Chief Administrator, I'm showing a weight discrepancy on the Bentonville's manifest. They just asked for a takeoff accreditation, but half the shipment is still at dock. Half, you say? Well, we just earned a bonus. I'll allow them to take off right away. Protocol dictates... How many times? Company protocol doesn't mean anything out here. What works, works. And we're already behind schedule. Director Price... ...isn't here. And if I do recall correctly, Deputy Administrator Hayes, your shift ended half an hour ago. So get the hell off my command deck and let me do my job. I don't care what McDonald says, something is wrong here. I can monitor the cargo bay camera's security feed just as well from my office. You look troubled, Administrator. Is there anything I can do to help? Thank you, Daniel. But no. I'm just having one of those days, you know? Another argument with Administrator McDonald. How did you guess? I may be synthetic, but I'm not blind. Are you sure I can't be of assistance? No. It's my problem, and I'll take care of it. 
I just need to reach my office. Of course. But I'm afraid this corridor is closed due to maintenance. You'll need to detour through the cafeteria. I heard no one's picking up on the planet. Not even Jackson's Landing. Really? I have a friend there. I hope he's okay. <sighs> These bloody storms, man. Don't often see you in here, Administrator Hayes. Are you lost? Do you need me to show you to your room? Last I checked, you couldn't find your own ass with both hands. I'll pass. Supply Shuttle Bentonville, secure for launch. All crews, this is your two-minute warning. Shit. Need to hurry. Welcome, Administrator Hayes. Take a closer look. Where's Chief Durant? Selling the labor dispute on the rally. Then you'll have to do. Gather a security team and come with me. <laughs> Not a chance. McDonald just linked in. Told us you'd be stirring up trouble. Again. I ain't getting involved. Take it up with him. Thanks for nothing. Before, before. What is the quickest way there? Those fucking storage hoppers and base. Supply shuttle Bentonville is cleared for launch. Remember, all unauthorized breaks taken by non officer grades will automatically be deducted from leave allowance. <laughs> Help <laughs> me. Hold on. You're, you're going to be all right. <laughs> Cargo. Hey. <laughs> Thanks. Came out of. Stay with me, stay... God damn it. Keep it together. You need to see what's in there. Better take his pistol. And hope whatever's in there doesn't know I can't aim for shit. That's the Bentonville. What are they holding in these things? back there. Time to get it sealed up. Whatever that thing is, can't chew its way through a door. Get it together, Michael. What I the hell you. was aboard the Bensonville? What are you talking about? The dock crew and Cargo Bay 4 are dead. Dead? That's not funny. Something got loose and killed. Power failure. Power failure. 
Engaging emergency generators. What just happened? This is Administrator Hayes. There's some kind of infestation aboard. Otago, you have to intercept the Benhamville before it leaves the system. Can you hear me, Otago? Please copy. Is everything all right? Please copy. Damn it! Comms are down. I can't fix him from here. I need to get to the comms room. Lewis? Are you in there? I need access to the comms room. Lewis, answer me, damn it! Go away! You draw him right to us. Open the damn door! No way! It's staying locked to keep those things out! You think that'll help? They're in the vents. Vents? Shit! Lewis! Lewis! Alert. Alert. Station integrity compromised. Waiting for me! Manning, you can't stay here! No, no! I can't see me here! Go away! Go away! Okay! Just keep your head down, right? <sighs> Daniel! You alright? Deputy Administrator, it appears that these creatures have destroyed our communication system. Why would they do that? They're animals. Sorry, I have no idea. I wish I could help you further. Shit, the Bentonville. I need to stop that ship. Daniel, our planetary quarantine protocols, they're still operational, aren't they? I do believe so, Deputy Administrator. What do I do? Those things have to come from the planet. If even one gets off-world. No, there's no choice. I can stop them. Deputy Administrator, you're only following the Wayland yutani containment procedures. The Cerberus protocol was specifically designed for a situation like this. What you're doing is only right. Right. Yes. Warning. Three ships detected. USS Otago, Bentaville, Baldwin. Will be caught in the high orbit interdiction radius. Please confirm command. I am so sorry. Cerberus protocol activated. Purging contaminant vectors. Stand by. Stand by.
engaging targets. I'm Sergeant Harper, USCM. You? Hey, he's, uh, Dep Deputy Administrator. You're from the Otago? Yeah. What the hell was that thing? It was... Everyone's dead. It was on one of the cargo shuttles. All right, people. We're falling back to the dropship. Hunslet, we're rolling to you. Copy. Cerberus Protocol in effect. What the fuck is a Cerberus Protocol? No clue. Just keep it moving and watch those corners. It's planetary quarantine. Nothing in, nothing out. Sounds like a real party. <clears throat> you okay, Sarge? Eyes ahead. Something's coming. Harper? We've got movement. <sighs> Manning? Where are you going? It's not safe here! It's not! Damn straight, but we'll get you out. No, you don't understand. It's here. It's here. <laughs> Light it up. Eyes up. That thing's still out there. Take him out. Use a grenade. Easy. dead. Squirrely bastards, ain't they? We need that elevator. Punch it. Tracker's lighting up! Alright, set for suppressing fire and check your targets! Getting closer! Closer! Wait for my order! Steady! Steady! Daniel! Daniel, is that you? Administrator Hayes. Where are you going? We're getting to safety, Daniel. Please, come with us. I'm afraid I can't permit that. Cerberus protocols are in effect. I know, but we can't stay. It's not safe. The protocols are clear. 
Nothing in. Nothing out. I'm sorry, Administrator Hayes. Stand down! Quarantine breach in progress. Deadly force authorized. Bring it down! What the hell was that? I... I don't know. I've never even heard Daniel raise his voice. Since, man. Creepy little fuckers. Hey, what a mess. Fuck! Incoming! <laughs> Hold still, I'm... Oh no. What? It's blood is... Some kind of acid. Fuck, what kind of blood type is that? Keep your distance, Marines. Latimer, you fit to move? I'm... not dying here. All right, let's get off this damn station. We need Latimer Mobile ASAP. I'll break open the medkit. Shit! Ugh. Ah! Ruiz, you're making it worse! Mish, don't be such a baby. There you go. You ain't pretty, but that ship sailed long ago. Gee, thanks. Shit, they're in the walls! They're too close! Switch to side on Those things are handy. For close encounters. <sighs> Hell of a time for a migraine. Seriously, Sarge? What's up with you? Move! No! We're in danger! Ah! Sergeant Harper, pull it together! We have to leave! Yeah, yeah, I heard you! Corporal Hunslet, get your ass down here! Hot evac! All right, all right. Air Hunslet inbound. Have your boarding passes ready. Shit! Reading multiple contacts! Closing fast! How many of those things are there? Too many! We have to go! More of them are coming! Hold your position, Marines! Well, don't worry, Hunslet. There's no rush. It's not like we're all gonna die. Would you look at that? Hell, she's taking a pounding. Otago, this is Harper. Do you copy? Hunsley, can you get us aboard? No way, Sarge. Between the debris and the decaying orbit? Death trap. Damn it. At least those platforms are leaving us alone. They're designed for planetary quarantine. But Lethe has to remain operational. Low orbit is considered safe, but beyond that, it's... It's a dead zone. Cerberus will shut down everything attempting to go through, in both directions. Cerberus, huh? You seem to know a lot about it. I know everything about it. I'm Pioneer Station. That's my job. Yeah? You know why I decided to turn the Otago into scrap metal? I... I don't know. Systems failure, maybe? You saw the state of the station. Shit! There she goes! Fuck! Follow her down, Hunslet. No problem. Fireball like that's hard to miss. Welcome home, Harper. You like what I've done with the place? Martinez! It's good to see you, Sarge. 
Sergeant Martinez, is it... is your communication system working? It's online, but... we're only picking up static. These colonies sure have a relay problem. But who's asking? Meet Deputy Administrator Hayes from Pioneer. Where's Captain Cochran? There's shit going down on that station like you wouldn't believe. Gone. The whole command staff's gone. You're it. Me? Uh, you made sergeant before I did. You've got seniority. Yeah, sure, but these are the captain's orders, as in the deathbed kind. So this shit's all yours, he insisted. If you want me, I'll be in the armory, seeing what survived the crash. Yeah, do that. I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Hayes, you better come with me. Ah, damn. What do we do now? We don't know what is happening on the surface of this planet. McDonald's, my boss, he sure didn't. We have to get in contact with someone if we hope to get out of this mess. I hate to rain on your parade, but the Otago shit housed. Even if it wasn't, how do we get out past those Cerberus platforms? Well, they'll stop a ship, but not a signal. If we create our own relay, perhaps we could broadcast from low orbit, just in case a ship passes by. Do you want to create a sort of satellite? We're not a pirate radio station, Deputy Administrator. Or we could contact Pharaoh Spire. Director Price needs to- You heard, to Martinez. The relays on this rock could be down for good. You want to send a message? Get out and start walking already. There has to be something we can do. Maybe there is. But I'm not seeing it. So you're gonna sit here and do nothing? Like hell. After what happened up there, regs are clear. We're on an alert footing. There could be a hostile biomorph loose on Lethe. So we've got civvies in danger and no way to contact them, right? What about Otago's short-range frequency receiver? Yeah, that could work. For now. But that doesn't solve our broadcasting problem. We have to you warn the people- You find a way we can do that? Then maybe, maybe we can talk about making that happen. Until then, we save everyone we can. We're Marines. That's the job. You want to help? Get familiar with this ship. What's left of it anyway. I'm... Administrator Hayes, I know. I don't want to seem unwelcoming, but I don't really have time to talk right now. A lot of Marines are hurting, half my orderlies are dead, and the medbay's being held together with bailing tape. How many casualties are we looking at? Between the platforms and the crash? At 20. And that'll double before the day's out. There's another 10 unaccounted for in Hangar Bay 3, but the doors are decompression sealed, so we know how that'll go. It'll get worse still if I don't get back to it, so if you'll excuse me. Yes, sorry. Sorry. Hey, new girl. Sorry, but I'm pretty busy right now. Crash buckled half the support bulkheads. That's all I can do to stop this place caving in. All right, I'll let you get on. Thanks. Administrator Hayes, I can't tell you how glad I am to see another Wayland Yutani face aboard. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Becker. The company assigned me to the ship in order to oversee trials of a new cryo-sleep routine. But I can't see that happening now. Look at the state of my lab. Months of vital research gone. If I at least had power, I could salvage the backups. But these brutes keep ignoring me. Perhaps you could... Sorry, Doctor, but they're not exactly friendly to me either. It's not about friendly. Who holds higher authority? A Wayland yutani executive or your typical Marine? Where does half the USCM's funding come from? Who provides their weapons? Hmm? You might want to push them. I'm sure they'll back down. Thank you, Doctor. You've given me a lot to think about. Well, of course I have. Deputy Administrator Hayes to the bridge. Hayes, please report to the bridge. Ste All right. This is what the short-range frequency receiver picked up. It's a distress message from a nearby colony. This is Sheriff Susan. Ed Hill Township. They're, they're killing everyone. We need help. The Pharaoh's fire too poppy. Oh no. You thinking what I'm thinking? We have to go there. See for ourselves. What? I feel for those people, but we're blind here. If we're to save anyone, we need proper comms. We got them. The Otago, Hunslet's dropship, our vehicles, my marines, they all speak the same language. Courtesy of the USCM comm system. That's not what it's I meant. It's a military decision, Hayes, which means it's my decision. 
Those folks need help. Fine. What do you need from me? Well, normally I'd lead the squad and an officer would run oversight. You know, intel, tactical, from the ARC, our armored recon carrier. I can do that, but I need you to handle the rest from here on the Otago. Oh, I thought I wasn't military. Don't I know it. Listen, if I'm gonna keep my people alive, I need someone with smarts for when mine falls short. If it helps, this ain't exactly what I signed on for either. Welcome to the Colonial Marines. All right, Marines, listen up. I know we're hurting, but we got us a go mission. We pulled in a partial signal from the settlement of Dead Hills. We don't know exactly what's happening there, but after what we've seen on Pioneer, we can't take any risks. We'll start by securing the landing control zone. From there, we'll take a look around, see what's going on. Keep your eyes open for survivors. Be ready for a firefight. Even a bad day can get worse. Tactical from the ARC, while Hayes runs support from the Otago. Administrator Hayes, are you settled in up there? I think so. This tech's old, but I can work with it. Don't let Corrigan hear you say that. Okay, standard recon. Get the perimeter gate open, and let's see what's going down in this burg. On it. Administrator, did we receive anything more from Sheriff Souza? Not a word. I don't like this. Roger that. Squad lead, sounds like our first task is to secure the landing control zone. If things go south, fall back to the ARC and let the big guns do the talking. Do you hear? Doors locked. Run a bypass. Let's get in there. Copy. On it. Hey, Harper. No sign of movement from up here. Do you see anything? Not a soul. The place is a real ghost town. Don't you worry, Nun Sarge. You've got a squad of big, strong Marines to keep you safe. What have we got? Satellite communications access looks intact. Which is more than can be said for the operator. No answers here. Looks like he killed himself. Guy must have hated his job. Don't we all? If you're done, how about getting me plugged in? Establishing satellite uplink. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Link established. Hmm. Looks like someone put the colony on lockdown. You know how long it'll take to burn through every door in the complex? If you can get to the township HQ, you should be able to shut off emergency status. That'll open up the doors. I can also scan for the settlers' personal data transmitters from there. Okay, squad. You heard the lady. Get this door unwelded and continue our path towards the colony headquarters. We're not getting through here. Looks like someone wasn't taking any chances. Squad lead, use C4 to clear the wreckage. Well, I don't know we're here now. You know what this reminds me of? We don't know it was those creatures. Could be an uprising, could be anything. Stay frosty, Marines. What the hell is that? Looks like some kind of skin. Did they not teach you about biohazards in the USCM? Don't touch it! You done? Good. Marines, there's something in here with us. It doesn't take a genius to guess at what. Stay sharp. Guys, I have a bad feeling about that. Come on, you've watched too many movies. It was built by the way you. It'll hold. Get us upstairs. Get out of here! Now! What the hell just happened? List fragged. 
Nearly took us with it. We'll need another way out. Told you. Freaking told you. You're at the HQ. You should be able to deactivate lockdown. Roger. Like deactivating now. Let's hope this works. Okay, now let's check out the colonist's personal data transmitters. For that, I'll need the sector map. Go ahead and find it. What have we got, Hayes? I'm reading six... Uh, no, seven signals with vitals. Wait. <laughs> one's right inside the room. Hey, you! In the locker! My trigger finger's itching. So come out. But come out friendly like yeah? Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I... I just don't feel so good. Calm down. We're not gonna hurt you. What happened here? It got me. It got me like the others. It got him? What does he mean? All right, settle him down. Something... I had something on my face, and then... What the hell? Cease fire! Cease fire! Screw that! I'm out! He said something latched onto his face. I've seen that. It's what happened to McDonald and the others on Pioneer. I... I think these creatures use us as incubators. What the hell are you talking about? The creatures on Pioneer. The thing we just saw, they're the same. One gross than the other. The... That's probably why we found that skin down there. So we could be seeing a lot more of them here? How many? What's the population of Dead Hills? I'd start there and hope for better. Shit, man, I don't like that. Great. That's just great. Securing from emergency lockdown. In five, four, three, two, one. South door is open. Stay alert, Marines. These things can attack us from every direction now. Harper, what am I looking at? An ingress point, maybe? You think this is how those things got in? Squad lead, deploy a field spotter. I want to know if anything comes out of this hole. Boy. Nice work, team. If something comes out of there, we'll get a reading. Now let's get back to those survivors. Harper, are you reading this? Yeah, looks like the field spotters picked something up. Squad lead, check it out. Sweep and secure. This is the place. Stay alert. There's something attached to his head. Careful! This is what happened to the others on Pioneer. And to that guy in the HQ. Can we get it off him? Roger. Back off! The tail's constricting! It'll strangle the poor bastard! We could take him back to the Otago. Maybe Booker can... You are not taking him to Medbay. We can't risk the contamination. God damn it. All right. We can't leave him here like this. Squad lead. Put him out of his misery and then get back to the mission. Nightmare finally stopped, buddy. Next time, do it quietly. Each shot might draw this creature's attention. We're too late for these poor souls. Killed from the inside. Bad way to go. Door's welded shut. Someone made the right call. Reading a personal transmitter on the other side. Could be a live one. All right, Marines. Get him out. Breaking the well. Who's there? Who are you? Are you with the company? Take it easy, man. We're the USCM Corps. I'm under the orders of Sergeant Harper and in contact with Administrator Hayes from Pioneer Station. It's Joe McAllen, technician second grade. Please, don't leave me here, please. Technician? Chief Corrigan could probably use another pair of hands. No way he's getting in my dropship. How do you know he's not infected? Infested, Hunslet. These things are parasites, not a disease. Marines, you reckon we can trust him? I mean, he welded that door pretty tight to keep these guys at bay. Just keep an eye on him, will you? Squad lead, bring him back to the ARC. But stay alert. I don't want any surprises. All right, stay calm, Joe. We're getting you out of here. Stay with us. We'll get you back to our transport. More sick. What a miserable place. And they call that a reception. Building better worlds, my ass. Wayland Yutani provide the tools. 
We're not responsible for how they're used and maintained. Brings back memories. Not many of them good. How's that? Never mind. Got a life one here? Get him out. We can't leave him in there. Your commander whispering in your ear, kid. Wait, how does he know that? You guys might want to join me in here. Seems it's safer behind bars than roaming free. Trust me, I've lived the Marine's life, I know. Keys are in the sheriff's office, if you want to bunk down. Okay, we'll get that key. Don't make yourself too comfortable. Now we know why the sheriff didn't answer. Looks like she put up a hell of a fight. Rest easy, Susan. Right now. Back to the core, buddy. Come with us. Like the old days. Lead the way. I'm just behind you. We don't need criminals weighing us down. Maybe. But there's something about his attitude. Were you in the core long, Marine? Seven years before they can me, Chief. And why would they do that? Same thing as put me in here. Wasn't so good with orders, you know? Watch out, squad. Those egg things were on Pioneer Station. I think that's the origin of the infestation. Squad, clear that nest and get to the friendly. But watch yourselves. We're too late. Way too late. He was infested. No chance, squad lead. You know what to do. Ah! Shit! Let him off! Sergeant, if these eggs are the start of the life cycle and we eradicate them, Maybe we can get the outbreak under control. Might even stop it dead. Oh, I like the sound of that. Wait a minute. I hope you don't want my Marines to check every corner of this colony to find your nest. We don't have to do it the hard way. This place is full of security cameras. We should be able to access the feed. I've marked the control room. Lucky grunts. I'll go into the cinema. Motion tracker deployed. Fucking Wayland yutani Watching you work, rest, and play. I bet you're glad for it now. I'm not, not glad. All right, camera feed online. Happy hunting, Marines. Looks like we got some supplies by the admin building. Got eyes on a stockpile up by the warehouse. Can't be sure, but it looks like there's some ammunition still in the armory. May as well put it to use. Maybe we could find some relevant materials by the stables. Wait! That container. It's exactly like the one I've seen on Pioneer. Looks like the slaughterhouse. Let's check it out. You like cows, Sarge, or are you just hungry? I know what they say. A day in the Marine Corps is like a day on the farm. Hilarious. Reaching that slaughterhouse looks like a trek from here. Maybe you should use the ARC. Can you hear crying? <laughs> She'll draw their mind to us. Tell her to shut up and get her to the ARC now. With all that noise, she's lucky to be alive. Roger. Come on, team! No! I don't want to leave! I'm safe here. I want to be a part of them. Yeah, yeah, we all want to be a part of them. Come with us. We're Marines. We're strong enough. No! You're not strong enough! Don't worry, miss. We got a strong armored vehicle waiting for us. State of the badass art. Uh, you okay, miss? Finally! I've been chosen! Uh, uh, damn! That hurts! Back uh, off! We've seen uh, this before! Uh, Squad leader here. The signal comes from behind this bulkhead door. Looks like a decontamination chamber. You should be able to cycle it. There should be a terminal next to the entrance. Decontamination process commencing. Processing. Processing. Decontamination halted. What the? That's close enough. Who the hell are you? USCM, ma'am. Responding to Sheriff Sousa's distress call. <sighs> Decontamination process restarted. Processing. Processing. Decontamination complete. Move on! Name's McNeil. I'm a veterinarian around here. Shut myself in here when everything went to hell. 
problem is, when you do that, it's kind of hard to get back out again. Guess I wasn't thinking straight. You know the situation? Uh, not much. Souza recovered a weird corpse next to the slaughterhouse. I've never seen anything like it myself. But then I look after herd animals and stitch up the occasional wound in someone who should know better. I'm not a xenobiologist. Or a fighter. Before she left, Souza insisted I keep this. Said it was automated, but I never managed to set it up. All right, Marines. Grab that sentry gun and get the vet out of here. She ain't a medic, but I'm sure Bookard will appreciate the help. Wait. Hold on, squad. I, I think company's coming. You sure? I see nothing on your trackers. Anyway, I guess you could always put those sentry guns to good use. You're learning fast, Administrator. Place that gun, Marines. All right, we're all set. They're coming. Give those bugs a warm welcome, Marines. Open that door. That gun's a freaking lawnmower. All right, squad. I think we're good. Let's bring the vet to safety. Hold your fire. You'll kill her. Shit, man. She's gone. What the hell was that? Did that critter just steal the vet from you? Damn. I just lost McNeil's PDT. They're abducting people. I could explain why I was reading only seven PDTs. I'll dig into the data transmitter's history. Maybe there's more survivors out there. That's not right. A good herd animal's the difference between life and death out here. Most settlers die before they'd let their livestock get slaughtered. Here's your container, Administrator. Hey, we have to be sure. Go check it. There's only six, no, eight eggs here. And no nest. Not nearly enough to infest a whole colony. They must have another way to breed. You know what, Hayes? I don't want to hear about it. Check the container's log, Marines. Let's see where that crate came from. Right now. Not much here, Sarge. Only a signature from Gallagher, colony director. Saw the size of that thing? Tell me it didn't come from those cows, man. We should head to the director's office. But maybe we'll find more about the container there. Good call, Administrator. You reckon the Gallagher could have sent the containers to Pioneer Station? There's only one way to find out. You need a ride, squad? Don't forget I'm here. Accessing terminal. All right. You see the importation log? But we have a problem. It's encrypted. Can't you open it? The way you security standards are simple but strict. I need his access codes, and as a company executive, the director has an obligation to carry them with him no matter what. But I don't read Gallagher's PDT anywhere near us. Then I guess the trail went cold. Lucky for us, we have more objectives to complete anyway. Stay sharp, squad. So, hostile critters or wiped out colony? Hunslet being Hunslet? How'd you find your first day in the Corps? I don't know. It's a lot to take in. If it helps, you're doing okay. Thank you. I'm glad it's over. My nerves are shot. Oh, it ain't never over. But for now, we got some time. Good. Gives me a chance to work on the comms. If only we could hear from Director Price and Pharaoh Spire. We could use her help. Dr. Becker's been trying the whole time we were deployed. It turns out most long-range transmitters are down. If someone's home at Pharos, they probably can't pick up. Do you think those things can be there too? Judging by what happened on Pioneer, it's clear that they're spreading extremely fast. Then you'd better get familiar with the Otago right now. We can't give those creatures the benefit of time. Ah, Administrator. I wanted to... Oh. Going that badly, is it? I'll get back to you on that. Can I do something for you? Actually, yes. I was hoping you might persuade Sergeant Harper to retrieve some samples of the creatures. One can never have too much information about one's enemies. I didn't know you worked in corporate espionage, Doctor. <laughs> Very droll. On the other hand, I do find that science and skullduggery have a surprising overlap. Both require focus and a keen eye for detail. One supposes. True enough. And you're right. We need more information on these things. 
I'll talk to the sergeant. Chief Engineer Corrigan, isn't it? We met before. Oh, it's you. Sorry about that, I... You had your hands full. Things look better now. They are. Came together faster than I thought. Ain't pretty, but we're functional and, I hope, stable. Harper told me we got splashed after some kind of failure in the planetary quarantine protocol. Something called Cerberus? That's what's going around, certainly. More corporate corner cutting. What a fucking mess. Anyway, I should be able to produce equipment for our Marines now. Anything I can do to help? Well, I don't think this ship will ever be spaceworthy again. But that doesn't mean we have to abandon her. It could be shelter, you know? For these people. For us. The only problem is dear Otago took a beating. I got holes to patch, cables to reconnect. Our cryo chambers, our shield, their history. In short, we're missing materials. Spare parts to turn into upgrades for both our guys and the ship. Look, no promises, but we could ask the Marines to check for materials in Dead Hill storehouses during their next visit. It all helps. Administrator Hayes, what brings you to my corner of the Otago? Sergeant Harper says I should take a look around. He's probably trying to keep me busy. Yeah, the devil loves idle hands. I can't give you a tour. We're still digging through the wreckage. How does it look? Well, we've more portable weapons than we've got Marines to carry them. So if you find anyone out there with training, you point them in my direction. As for the ordnance, it's pretty much scragged. What about the emergency escape vehicles? <laughs> that satellite relay idea of yours, huh? Yeah, Harper told me. If we can get the fuel linkages repaired, we might salvage one EEV. But I'd be damned before I let you play with the only life pod we have left. And how useful is a single life pod on a crashed ship exactly? Yeah, you're pretty convincing. I'll give you that. All right, take it, but keep me updated. Back from your tour? How'd it go? Pretty good, I think. Dr. Becker requested some samples of the creatures for study, and Chief Corrigan is in need of components to turn this ship into a proper base. I thought you were all about getting your message out. There's nothing to say we can't do the one so long as it doesn't endanger the other, is there? True enough. All right. Let's go back to Dead Hills. I have a feeling we missed something there. The same feeling you have when these creatures come around, Sergeant? This is hardly the moment, Deputy Administrator. Listen, Sergeant Harper. Your abilities, they could be tied to this outbreak. If there are more like you out there, it could help. People should know. They have the right to know. You mind your own business, Hayes, and I'll take care of mine. You have a relay to find and I have men to lead. We both have a part to play. This conversation's over. Listen up, squad. The tactical situation's been updated. First up. I want to get Dr. Becker some samples of these creatures. Give us a better idea of what we're dealing with. Second, if there's anything here we can use to patch up the Otago, well, I want those materials too. Marines, remember we saw a hangar on SACOM. If we're to find any materials for the Otago, it should be there. We could be searching for days. We could, or we could interrogate the Quartermaster's record terminal instead. Come on, team. Nothing. 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 No. Wait. I've got something. Looks like some of these colonists have a sideline in smuggling. This guy's working at the power complex. Check this place out, Marines. I'm marking the location. Ugly freaking place. They're built to last, not to look nice. Let's find that equipment stash. Got a body here. Could be our smuggler. Is there anything on the body? A transformer station? Hunslet, do you have eyes on that from up there? Yep, yep, yep. Marking the coordinates. Let's see what's inside. Motion tracker deployed. Sergeant Harper, I've searched through the PDT's history and enlarged the scope of our receivers. Turns out the chips of several citizens, including McNeil and Gallagher, disappeared next to an old mine. If there's still Trimonite in there, it must be messing with the PDT signal. Exactly. Which means more might be alive down there. All right, Marines. Administrator Hayes just found us a new shining objective. She needs that director and we need that vet. We're making a detour through that mine. Really, Sergeant? Caving? Thank God I'm only flying with you lot. 
Don't push me, Hunslet, or I'll drag you in those tunnels myself. Open that door, Marines. That terminal should do the trick. Copy. Come on, team. Crazy folks. Fighting these beasts with shovels, harsh language, and pickaxes. Might as well shoot yourself. Going deeper and deeper into the lair of the beast. Charming, really. Keep that line clear, squad. It's already hard enough to hear you with all that trimonite around. I'll try to adjust comms to those caves, but keep your eyes peeled. Look at that thing on the wall! This place freaks me out. I didn't sign up for this. That substance. Busy little creatures, huh? Enough sightseeing. Stay focused. They can come from anywhere. Right now. All right, let's see what's in there. Drowns on me. Now let's see if someone survived that beast. Oh, and if you find Gallagher, make sure to check for his access codes. Affirmative. Hey, we got a live one here. It's the vet. She's all right, just unconscious. Get McNeil out of here, squad. We need all the help we can get. I got something on the tracker. The director's here. He didn't make it. God damn it. Does he. Does he have his codes on him? Yep. Patch him through, Sarge. Okay, got it. Opening the importation log right now. Hold on, this could take a few minutes. All right, squad, we've done what we could. Join me for extraction. Sergeant, wait. If we want to learn more about that infestation, we should collect some samples on that specimen. It looked unique. A laying creature, perhaps. Well, we saw how they jumped to save the big critter. It must be really special to them. I guess it's worth a try. Go get that sample, Marines. I got a survivor. On my way. Just. Hey, man, if I ever feel like him, just shoot me, okay? Groceries are done. Hope the good doctor enjoys his meal. Nice work, squad. We're green for extraction. Any news from that importation log, Administrator? Yes. Yes, it's open. Ugh, but it's a mess. I don't understand why the Director allowed that container into Dead Hills. Force of habit, I guess? It says here that... Craig came from Berkeley's docks. Not much of a clue. Everything comes from that spaceport. Well, at least we have our next stop. But first, a map in the Otago, if you don't mind. Come on, let's get out of here. You did good today, Administrator. Not good enough. We need to broadcast, or more colonies will end up like Dead Hills. Ease down. We have no proof of that. What we have is a lead. That container transited from Berkeley's dock. That's Lethe's main spaceport. Someone's dispatched those crates on purpose. What kind of psycho would do that? Sergeant, we've seen those things in action. You know we don't have time to chase boxes. Oh, but we have time to build our own private satellite? Listen, Martinez reckons the surviving EEV can be repaired. We rig it with boosters and a comms repeater, maintain it in low orbit, Push a message to a working relay, and we can- Did you listen to what I just said? Somebody used that container so the Dead Hills could live up to its name. What if there's more of those crates around, huh? As this Director Price of yours still isn't taking any calls, we're the only one trying to find where they came from. If we don't, more folk are gonna die. And even more if no one ever hears about what happened on this damn planet. If you really want to save everyone, Sergeant Harper, I suggest you start thinking beyond Lethe. I was born here, Hayes. These are my people. I won't leave them to die. I didn't know. I mean, 
I'm sorry, Sergeant. Listen, you're right. Berkeley's a big spaceport. We'll probably find both people and quality spare parts there. I say we catch them both. Roger that. But in the meantime, can you check in with Becker? He's been pestering me like you wouldn't believe. Dr. Becker, you wanted to see me? Indeed, I did. That specimen you've recovered offered outstanding research possibilities. Have you had the chance to review my initial report on the Xeno samples? I've barely slept. Oh, yes. Of course. Well, suffice to say, they're absolutely fascinating. I feel my muse gathering herself to action. All manner of breakthroughs tantalize just beyond my fingertips. Long-term benefits aside, I've already had some ideas about how to improve our gallant Marine's equipment. But I need more samples. These creatures are dangerous, Doctor. Not when they're dead. And if we took one alive? Well, nothing's impossible. This lab has a containment cell built for such encounters. Perhaps we could use it. A live specimen? On board? A absolutely not. I'm simply trying to make myself useful. Listen, Doctor, I, I get it. But the Marines will stick with samples, and so should you. We can't have one of those things getting loose on here. All right, Administrator Hayes has a plan. Building a satellite so we can have a voice beyond those damn platforms. The problem? We don't have the tech to do the job. But we caught a break. Remember that container we recovered in Dead Hills? Turns out it came by train from Berkeley's docks. This is a spaceport, and a big one. We might be able to find what Hayes is looking for there. So let's kill two birds with one stone, shall we? Don't go thinking this is a milk run. There could be more of these creatures out there. Engage where necessary, and assist all civilians. Let's get to it. All right, Marines, you know the drill. Sweep and secure. Remember, we're after a comms repeater, but we also need more information about the container we saw in Dead Hills. Both could be found around here, but these ports aren't exactly known for their record keeping. That's right. We'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. Full search of the area. Stay sharp, squad. Well, that's a good start. Find a way to open that door, Marines, or the ARC will stay outside. Creepy-ass place this is. It shouldn't be this quiet. Where is everyone? There's something wrong with those dogs. Shouldn't they be barking or something? Disgusting. Can't abide senseless cruelty to animals. Let's hope whoever did this crosses our path. From your lips to God's ears. Squad, get in that security outpost. We'll see what the locals have to say. Nobody home. So much for corporate security. Stay alert, squad, and continue searching. Looks like the armory was looted. The weapons... These dogs... It looks an awful lot like Dead Hills. Maybe the workers try to fight these creatures. All the more reason to move the ARC. Find that terminal, Marines, and get that door open. Move. Door's open. Good job, squad. Joining you now. We should aim for port control. Its shipping manifest can take us to repeater compatible with the EEV. And give us more info on that container, of course. Contact! USEM! Identify yourself, citizen. Gotta love the friendly locals, right, Sarge? Leave him be. Keep moving to port control. Keep your eyes open. Something ain't right here. Copy. Come on, team. Looks like the Dockers don't want you going that way. Probably striking. Gotta hold the line or you've already lost. Not that you'd understand. No. This feels like something bigger. Nice sharp, Marines. Weapons ready, but fire on my command only. I thought these were your people, Sergeant. They are. My men are family. I don't like this man. You bastards! 
Tell him to disperse now. First and final warning. <laughs> Shit! Open fire! Save so many containers. And they want us to find one? Might as well look for a needle in a haystack. Keep your eyes peeled and that channel clear, Marines. What happened here? Looks like a fight. Maybe these dockers aren't all on the same side. Would you look at that? A sinks and freight. Nice catch, squad. Find the terminal of that crate so we can access those materials. You should start by following that cable. Could be a great position for the ARC. Too bad these crates are blocking the way. It seems they're attached to that crane. Its terminal should be nearby. You heard the administrator, Marines. Find a way to use that crane. Copy. Crane's moving. Good work. You should be able to move the ARC around. It's not about chance, Administrator. They just rebel. Folks do that around here. And sacrifice their lives? Being stuck on Lethe isn't much of a life. Trust me. Good work. The crane's mobile. Now go grab those materials. I'm sure no one will hold it against us. Tino, it approach! Shoot me! Please! Tell me someone else saw that. Did, did that docker just beg to be captured? I was fine with them abducting people, but asking for it? Things are getting stranger and stranger around here. <laughs> There's bound to be more of these creatures. Stay sharp, all right? We made it to port control, Hayes. What's next? The shipping manifest should be in the command room. It's probably on the second floor, considering the structure of the building. Follow the floor markings. All right, second floor it is. I hope we'll find more on this container there. Don't forget the repeater, Sergeant. We need it. A camera room. If you log in, you'll be able to predict enemy movement. Keep following the floor markings. They should bring you to the command room. What's that noise? Move away, guys! down there, Sarge. Our little dockers are playing with explosives. Aw, they grow up so fast. We're gonna need another way through. Yeah, I'd say so. Stay back! You come any closer, we kill him. We will. Drop your weapons, now! They've taken hostages. Can you help them? We're on it, Hayes. But a frontal assault's out of the question. They've locked the door and there's no access terminal on this side. If we're doing this, we'll have to find another path. Can you help? I'll see what I can do. Showing multiple explosions from up here. Looks like a demolition pattern. Sabotage. We're trapped. Squad lead, you might want to close this door while we look for a solution. Get me a stable sack comlink. Broken terminal or not, I should be able to open that bulkhead door from here. You heard the lady. Find us a SATCOM uplink. That sector map could help us find the SATCOM and a path to the hostages. I found a way to the hostages. Use it well and save those people. Hurry up, you- This should take you right to the hostages. Looks like we've got a barricade. Squad lead, you know what to do. Planting C4. Light him up! Good work, Marines. Cut these folks free. I want to know what happened here. Relax, we're USEM. What's with these lunatics? I, I don't rightly know. Their leader kept yakking about some... some fellow named Marlowe and, and... and building a better human? All right, stay calm. You're safe now. Marines, get them back to the ARC. What do you make of all that? Damned if I know, Administrator. Just that they were more prepared than we thought. Here's the SATCOM squad. Get that link operational. 
Check it out, squad. I think you can hack that door. Got it! The bulkhead door leading to the command room should be open now. Good job, Hayes. Let's find that shipping manifest, Marines. Hey, Sergeant. We, we found a civilian in one of those cocoons. Get him out of there, quick! Careful, Sergeant. We've been there. Don't worry, Hayes. We'll check him for infection. There's a lot of them here! Means you're in the right place, Marines. Deal with them before the critters join the party. Access- Nah! Hurry up, Marines! I've got a feeling company's coming. All right. These containers have been sent across the theme. But some of them are still stored in a nearby warehouse. Hangar A. Let's try another terminal. Bring them down! Found it! There should be a compatible comms repeater in Hangar C. We got what we came for. Let's go check these hangars, squad. There's an elevator here. It should take you right back outside, near the docks. Look at this beauty. CM-88G Bison. That's what I call a ship. Hey, that train's leaving. And if there are more containers aboard... Do you want me to pursue, Sarge? Stay on us, Hunslet. I hate to say it, but we have our orders. It's too late for that. Marlo was right? Who the hell is Marlo? Doesn't ring a bell. That container, on the other hand. Let me guess. Enough eggs for one big omelet. Shut up, Hanslet. Dead Hills was no isolated incident. This is a pattern. We need to get our hands on that comms repeater, Sergeant. More than ever, people need to know what's happening on this planet. You're right. Proceed to Hangar C, squad. Move on! Watch out! That's another egg-laying specimen. A queen! Tread carefully and check your ammo, Marines. We don't have to kill it now. That crate looks promising. Yep, that's it. That's the comms repeater we were looking for. Good job, Marines. Nicely done, squad. Now come back to the ARC once you're done with the place. What the hell have we stumbled into? Ravenous bugs, some kind of crazy cult? This is above my pay grade. Mine too, for what it's worth. Too bad they didn't pay you enough. With you in charge of that station, I'm sure those damn platforms wouldn't have fired. About that, Sergeant Harper. Cerberus didn't start because of a systems failure. I... set it in motion. I had to ensure containment. You've seen what those creatures can do. If only one of them escaped, we so would have all- trapped every soul on this planet with this creature? In the blink of an eye? Well, congratulations, Hayes, when it comes to badass your state of the art. Now get off my bridge! Sergeant, I can help. Good. We've got some new facilities online. You're an administrator. You never know. There might be something for you to administrate. Sure. I'm on it. Ah, administrator. Are you here to return my EEV? Sorry to disappoint you, Sergeant Martinez, but I need it. We need it, in fact. But I heard the training center was up and running, and I wanted to see for myself. That it is. Time to make them into real Marines. Good. Because we're up against it. These creatures are faster than us, stronger than us, and they're smart. If we're to survive, we need everyone in peak condition. Don't you worry, Nun. Was there anything else? Well, just one thing. Sergeant Harper, does he seem all right to you? Look, I know soldiers talk, but he is in command. End of story, you hear? That's not what I... Forget it. Sure. Ah! Administrator Hayes. It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Dr. Kabiri, clinical psychologist. And Dr. Bogart's assistant, when I have nothing better to do. Oh. I can't imagine something more important than what's happening in the med bay. Never underestimate combat fatigue. That's the first thing they told us. These Marines are under a great deal of stress. If we don't help them process it, things will turn nasty real fast. You're right. I should have considered that. Well, let me know if you need anything. For now, the only thing I need is to know everybody's all right. So, how are you doing, Administrator Hayes? You're very kind. I'm... maintaining. Don't worry about me. Well. Deputy Administrator Hayes. 
phase to the bridge. Here's that word again. Got a minute, Hayes? I do. Although I should probably finish turning our EEV into a proper satellite. And you'll keep working on that, but right now we've got intel on those containers we found. And I intend to follow that lead. Maybe even track down this Marlow we keep hearing about while we're at it. Sergeant Harper, thanks to the parts you provided, we have a chance to inform people of what's happening here. Assuming we don't strip the payload, we just need to scrounge up some fuel boosters. I've already identified the limits of low orbit, and if we Listen. can... Except for the trouble they cause. My men found out these containers had only one thing in common. They were dispatched from a dig site named Oldevi. We go there, we might have a chance to stop this infestation once and for all. That's not what we agreed. I need help on the EEV. We didn't agree on anything. You made a decision and I went along with it. This is my ship, these are my marines, and we've got folk in harm's way. You don't like my priorities? You can keep playing with your toy and leave us to it. But this is happening. All right, Marines. Time to find out what the hell's happening on this rock. Someone's moving those crates around, that's for sure. And now we know where they came from. All of them. It's called Oldevi, Lethe's main trimonite extraction site. Remember that train we saw? We're pretty sure it serves the refinery. Yep, that's not a coincidence. And I know what you're thinking, but we have an opportunity to finally learn more about this infestation. And by learning, I mean ending it for good. Stay frosty. We've no idea what's waiting for us down there. Sweep the site, evac any friendlies, and keep your eyes open for intel we can use. Clean dust off. Have fun down there. All right, Marines. We've traced the containers back to this location, but it's a crapshoot as to where they're hidden. Since Administrator Hayes is sitting this one out, we'll have to manage without her. Hooking into the refinery mainframe might give us somewhere to start looking. If Hayes taught us anything about the Wayu buildings, it's that they all look the same. The mainframe should be on the second floor, with the administration. Got something on a tracker. You okay, brother? Quiet, people! Funny cover! I'm not sure. I thought I'd be chosen by now, you know? I really wanted to see them. Trust Marlo. Don't worry. Your time will come. You think? I haven't seen the temple either. Maybe I'm not worthy. Oh, it's not about that, brother. I heard only our guardian brethren are trusted with the keys to the temple. De Deploying motion tracker. I'm in. According to the mainframe, uh, the containers should be in the basement. How original? How can we access it? I'm not sure. That refinery system is ancient. But check that sector map. Reveal the first floor, and I'll find a moment to help you. Very kind of you. Wait. There's doors closing all around you. Check your motion trackers. They're flanking us. Okay. I found a way to the basement. It's a simple elevator, but it appears to be locked. You'd need a security pass. Hey, could it be the keys these lunatics were talking about? It's worth a shot. But I guess it means we gotta catch one of these guardians they're talking about. There's a security room on the first floor. If its cameras are still operational, I'm sure you'll find one in no time. Let me open it for you. Thanks, Hayes. Squad, move to that security room. Oh. A synthetic. If we can repair it, he'd be useful in the Itago. There's something around. And we've already been here. Next camera, please. Yeah, he's using a security pass. Must be one of those guardians. Let's pay him a visit.
Light him up! His chest. Are they mad enough to host one of those creatures? We got that pass. You reckon it'll work with that locked elevator you mentioned earlier? Sure. If it was built by the Wailing Jutani, it should. Right. Let's head for that elevator then. Time to reach that basement. We found a prisoner, Sergeant. Good. Ask all the questions. We need more intel. Relax, guys. We're USCM. You're all safe, but I need to know what happened here. I... I think they're called the Darren era. Lunatics. They asked about our genes. We got separated, my family. They took them to their temple. Oh, God. I hope they're okay. You need to help them, please. Easy, easy. How about you? Why did they keep you here? I don't know. They took our blood and locked us in here. Told us we'll be lucky enough to meet Cassandra. Be part of her great project. Wait. What did he just say? Pretty sure I heard Cassandra, Chief. Huh. Old school name. I hope she made her parents pay for it. Keep your trap shut, Hunslet. Marines, get these civilians back to the ARC now. That's Berkeley's train, all right. Be on the lookout, squad. Let's see what's inside. It's working. Stay alert, Marines. We don't know what we'll find in that basement. Move on! Look at that! These guys are nuts! Guess we found that poor guy's family after all. Is there a girl in there? Anything more specific while we're at it, Sarge? She'd be... Uh... In her teenage years, blue eyes, and a nose like mine. Usually, they don't do that. Focus, Marines. That critter's different, but no less dangerous. Find these containers before it finds us. Crap. It's a Praetorian. I have multiple signals. Light him up! This gun is a frickin' lawnmower! You should stay on those rails. One way or the other, they'll lead you to more containers. Come on! Bring him down! Watch out! Here come the spidery ones! Got is that... A classification yard? Darwin era sounds great as a train stop. You gotta give them that. It's probably why those trains empty their cargo, which means storage facilities should be nearby. If I had to hide some containers, I'd put them there. All right, squad, search the place. Find those crates. Quiet. It didn't... Do you see that, Sarge? Yep. Plenty of space for containers, but no crates. And those bodies... Are they... Wayland Jutani Commandos, yes. Maybe we're not the only ones chasing these containers. Oh, it's we now. You know what I mean. You said it yourself. We need all the help we can get. If the way you came here, it's probably more important than it looks. In that case, I guess we follow the bodies. Stay alert, squad. These containers. This is it. This is the room we were looking for. Good job, squad, but it's not over. Not yet. We need more intel about those crates, starting with a way to destroy them. All of them. Search that room, people. I don't know about you, Marines, but I don't like the sight of those tunnels. Make sure you have enough resources to welcome these critters. All right, Marines, stay close to me, and let the big guns do the talk. Hold tight, squad. I'm almost there.
Attacking sentry gun. Oh shit. That structure. Sarge, I'm sorry, it didn't work. Oh shit. Now get out of here before they take you down. Hayes, I have to tell you. Later, Sergeant. I'm trying something. Ho hold on. Martinez, give me a hand. More. Everything you've got. I'm launching it in 30 seconds. Hayes? What are you doing? Hayes! Hunza, keep your distance. I have one satellite turned bomb coming in hot. Wait a minute. A bomb? That's our way up, Marines. Move out! Not bad, Hayes, for a corporate drone. Not that I ain't grateful, but why'd you do it? Your satellite just went up in smoke. In the company, there's a protocol for everything. Until there isn't. Ever since Pioneer Station, I've been drowning. The big picture gave me something to hang on to, but at the end of the day, the big picture is just... people. Speaking of which, any news from Pharaoh Spire? I sent Hunslet over to the capital to perform recon. The anti-air defenses of Jackson's Landing are still active. They took offense at her transponder codes and nearly shut her up for good. It doesn't tell us much. The Spire is a state-of-the-art building. They'll be automated. True enough. So, for now, we keep on keeping on. Maybe this Marlow we ran into... I did into. a bit of digging. He's a Wayland yutani bioengineer. No one's heard from him for years. Well, they have now. So what do you want to do, Administrator? We better work together. All right. Then start with what happened back there. Hayes, it's really... Listen, Harper, when you get crazy like that, you put every single one of us at risk. We need to know what happened. If it was that special feeling of It yours. wasn't. I snapped, okay? I heard a name, and I snapped. What are you talking about? Cassandra. That's the name I heard. That's the name of my daughter. You have a daughter? Here on Lethe? Don't you think that was worth mentioning? She hates my guts, all right? I wasn't around much when she was little. We haven't spoken since her mother's funeral. Becca just rotted from the inside out. Folk do that here. It's the main reason I joined up way back then. I had to get out, you know? <clears throat> Is this working? Yes, good. Administrator Hayes and Sergeant Harper to the lab. If, if you would. Hold that thought, Sergeant. We're not done here. Ah! Thank you both for coming. Out with it, Doctor. There's a lot going on. More than you know. I've been analyzing your recent encounters with the Darwin era, cross-referencing with survivor reports, and, well, I, I won't bore you with the details. And yet you are. Easy, Sergeant. Doctor, what have you found? In short, they have found a way to walk among these critters, as you put it. Some cultists seem to carry a preliminary step of the specimen in some sort of device, here, right between their lungs. This allows them to move around older creatures, while your marines are systematically attacked. Fascinating, isn't it? Just what we needed. More good news. What can we do? At the moment? Uh, nothing, I think. Unless you've revised your policy regarding live specimens, Administrator. She didn't, and she's right. No creatures allowed. End of discussion, Doc. <sighs> this just gets better and better, doesn't it? All the more reason to save everyone we can, like you said. Or are you only here for your daughter? Cassandra's part of it. Maybe even the largest part, but it's not the whole. Wouldn't want you thinking I'm a hypocrite now. How old is she? 
She'd be 17 now, if she's even alive. You've seen these psychos. They're experimenting on people, on their genes. And they gave my daughter's name to their pet project. That can't be a good sign. What would they be after? I'm not sure. I've been having... flashes. I guess you'd call them visions. Nothing I can really explain, but sometimes it's like I can... feel what those creatures are thinking. Well... I guess these maniacs would find that useful. I know, right? If Cass and I share this ability, maybe they're looking for her. Or worse, she joined them willingly. I don't believe it. I mean, she's your daughter. She's probably just as stubborn as a USCM sergeant. But what if they did something to her? What if she's changed and I don't recognize her anymore? Would she even recognize me? It's okay. We'll find her. You got this, Jonas. <laughs> it's been years since anyone called me that. Hudson to Otago! Otago, do you Shit. copy? What now? Hunslet was circling around the ship when she picked up movement. Looks like recon paid off. The bad news is, those creatures are really interested in us. If we let even one of them get on board the Otago, this is over. Agreed. Looks like it's time to kick ass. All right. The enemy's coming to us. So let's give him a good old-fashioned USCM greeting. Numbers are unknown, so we take no chances. We hit him with whatever we've got. You know the drill? Set a defensive perimeter and keep him off the Otago. natural choke points in the terrain. Let's use them. I like the way you think, Hayes. After all, the only thing they seem to respect is firepower. Wow, what do we have here? Say hello to the P-5000 power loader. Let's get someone strapped in and we'll take it for a spin. Pick up one of those heavy turrets on your way, Marines. Harper, these creatures are likely to be on you before any of these turrets are set. Your men better hurry. Relax, Hayes. We got this. Marines, keep an eye on that loader. Hunslet, stay awake up there. We might need your air support at some point. You got it, Sarge. You sure this thing will stop them? That's a PARS 150 phase plasma cannon salvaged from a wrecked APC. Only question is whether you want them regular or extra crispy. Squad lead. Let's wake this baby up. Kill them! Better make it fast. We got a swarm inbound from the north. Ready those Banshee rockets, Corporal. On it. Get me some fire coordinates. Now that's what I'm talking about! Good work, Marines, but don't get cocky. Get back in the power loader and let's get the next plasma cannon into position. Stay frosty, people. Escort the P-5000 to the second perimeter node. Join the Corps, they said. Life of a champion, they said. Enough kvetching. Just get it done. The second turret is online and firing. That's a beautiful sight. That's the part 150. Never leave home without. Shit, visibility's getting real bad up here. There's a storm coming, and it's a big one. The Otago's weather alarms are ringing. They're using the storm to cover their progression. What do you mean they're using the storm? Harper, that storm was sure messed with the turret scanners. And we can't rely on the Otago sensors either. They were damaged during the crash. But there should be some long-range motion trackers where you were first deployed. With them, we might have a chance. Good call, Ed. Can you cover us? With that pea soup coming, you can forget recon. But I'll see your flares all right. You point, I shoot. You have your orders, Marines. Go back to the ARC, grab those trackers and deploy them. We don't want our turret to turn blind. Okay. We've got two of these M314 autonomous long-range motion trackers. If we get them set up, they'll give us the warning we need. I'm marking the most efficient deployment locations. Outstanding. Let's get this done, Marines. Come on, team! Hurry up! I can't see a thing in this shit. Just get those trackers in place, then you can come back where it's warm. Gee, Sarge, you're just a big old softy. The tracker's set. Can you link it to the turret, Hayes? Give me a moment. Replacing its scanners with the tracker. Okay, it's done. All right, this one turret operational. Keep going, Marines. Second tracker online. Hayes. Link to the turret. 
You're good to go. All right, Marines, fall back to the Otago. Wait. Receiving lots of signals from the motion trackers. Converging on your position. Where? There's no bugs around here. They're getting closer. It can't be. That's inside the perimeter. Tunnels. Caves. I think they're underground. They must have found a way to use the terrain. Just a second. Let me use the topo scanner. That's it. There's two caves on my map. Hunslet, you need to bomb them to clog those tunnels. What? Sarge, is your trip over? I need order confirmation. Do as she says. Mark those caves, squad. Harper, I've reduced the M314A sensibility to ignore the underground creatures. You should do the same with the motion trackers your men carry, or they might get surprised. Done. Thanks for the heads up. Marines, time to dig in and earn your pay. Hunslet, get ready to unleash hell when you see the flare. Roger that. Get a load of that smell. That's payback. Harper, squad, get out of there. The heavy turrets will cover the position from now on. Approaching evac point. Hunslet, where are you? Inbound. Prepare for dust off. Hey, Hayes. You're getting good at this. Guess I found my inner marine. That's twice now you've saved our asses. Starting to make me look bad. Don't go reading too much into it, Harper. Turns out blowing stuff up's cathartic. Better than booze, and that's the truth. On the subject of truth, how are you handling your flashes? Well, the sensation's overwhelming when it kicks in, and painful as hell. Makes me a liability in the field. So, what do we do? From here on out, I'll stick to running oversight from the ARC. It's best I don't get in the way. Perhaps you should speak to Bookart, Kabiri, or Becker. Doc Buzzkill? Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe Bookart if it gets worse. Pharaoh Spire to USS Otago. USS Otago, do you receive? That's Director Price. I don't believe it. They're still alive. Just what we needed. More suits and ties. Director Price, this is Deputy Administrator Michael Hayes of Pioneer Station. Oh. My report suggests that all hands were lost during the recent unpleasantness. Unpleasantness? Pioneer was overrun I by... I don't believe we've been introduced. Sergeant Harper, USCM. Indeed. We've had some trouble here ourselves, Administrator. With these creatures swarming around, we've had to put Pharaoh's Spire on lockdown. But my commandos finally managed to restore the SATCOM relay of Jackson's landing. This is a terrible time for everyone, but I'm gratified to see that the Wayland yutani quarantine protocols are working. I authorized them, Director. I didn't see any other choice. We've been trying to contain the outbreak ever since. And now you've commandeered a USCM vessel and its crew. You're proving much more resourceful than your psych profile suggests. You did the right thing, Maiko. Unfortunately, it seems that our superiors don't share your, uh, work ethic. Meaning? Three hours and 55 minutes ago, the Cerberus Protocol began a countdown to its Phase 2. Phase 2? Nuclear sterilization. Nuclear sterilization? As in of the planet? This planet we're all stranded on. I'm afraid Wayland yutani leaves no room for mistakes, Sergeant. This Phase 2 came as a surprise. For me. I'd find another job. I will consider it, Sergeant. But we're not out of options yet. The sterilization satellites are coming online. There's still time to deactivate the system through Pioneer Station. In fact, I already sent a team there, but I've lost contact with them. I see. But, with the help of your men, Sergeant, Myko's knowledge of the station and my level of clearance, we have a chance. I'm asking you to trust me. Then I guess we better get a team up there ASAP, Director. Good. Should you require any further assistance, I'll be on comms. In case you didn't think it could get worse, those same platforms that downed the Otago are now planning to nuke Lethe from orbit. The good news is that Director Price, Hayes' boss, reckons she can shut it down before we're all extra crispy. The bad news is that means going back up to Pioneer Station. You'll need to restore emergency power, then retrieve a codebreaker from the team Price sent in. From there, 
Hayes can get you into the AI room and walk you through putting the nukes back into standby. From what we've seen of these creatures, we have to assume the station's infested with them by now. So tread carefully. The power's out in the hangar bay. No, strike that. We've got massive power outages station-wide. We'll need to get it back to stop that freaking Cerberus. Just another glorious day in the core. Stow it. Proceed to the transit hub. Let's get this done. Dust off complete. Maintaining perimeter. Don't go too far. If we need evac, we're gonna need it fast. Roger that. Bring me back something nice, yeah? The station's basic systems are still operational. You should be able to open that door. Unable to comply. Please restore power. Hayes, this is your station. What can you give me? There's an emergency generator. Upload in coordinates now. Its access lifts on a different circuit. If it's still functional, you can bring the rest of the station online from there. Copy that. I just opened the door to the generator. But you'll have to go through the storage area, so be careful. Drone reacquired. Movement. We've got movement! I see it. No, wait. It's gone. Come on, team! Oh man, it's just a rat. It'll eat you alive! Kill it! Kill it! <laughs> Knock it off, Hunslet. False alarm. Let's get back on mission. Setting up motion tracking. This place is coming apart. Even before the incident, it was a constant battle to keep everything operational. Pioneer Station was never meant to last this long. But it is cheaper to run maintenance than build a new installation. That sounds like the way you all right. That's the generator. Looks intact. Shouldn't take much to get it operable. It's Frontier spec, designed for rough handling. You can't break it. Don't set us challenges like that. All right, let's see if it was worth the walk. Copy. Power online. System status check commencing. device to open the AI room. That place is very secure. Once we're there, you reckon we can stop that Cerberus of yours? It won't be that easy, but the AI service should hold the cancellation sequence. You heard the lady squad. Priority is locating those commandos. We find them, we find the code breaker. There's a security room on that floor. I'm marking its position. Check its cameras to help you find the Wayland yutani commandos. On my way. Move on. That's it. That's the security room. All right, Marines. Time to check those cameras. Keller? Fuck. No. One of your colleagues? We can check if you got the stomach for it. That's the armory. Harper, there are plenty of weapons there should you need them. They're headed our way! That uniform. Yes, that's one of the commandos. Maybe he's carrying the code breaker. Let's check him out. Customs office. No bodies here, but we might find some materials. I'm sure Corrigan will appreciate them. No code breaker. But it seems they've taken this corridor. Look alive, Marines. Double time! Hayes. We found your colleague. I don't know if it makes you feel any better, but it doesn't look like the critters got to him. Wait, wait, how did he die then? Strangled, by the looks of it. He left a data pad. Let's take a look. 
Seems like Keller was really interested in the neighborhood. That doesn't sound like him. That guy was a weight freak, but mostly a loner. I, I, I don't know how someone could have strangled him, let alone why. Your killer synth, maybe. Daniel, was it? It could be. Do you think we can check how Anand reacted? All right. Let's find her. What a bloodbath. Aren't these marks supposed to be hard as nails? Trust me, they are. They just bumped into bigger bullies. Let's see what's inside. That's Anand. What a waste. Strangled. For some time. Just like Keller. Well, maybe they knocked him out first. What do you mean, for some time? Could someone have killed him before the outbreak? That's entirely possible. But... but why? Another egg-loving container freak, perhaps? The Darwin era? Here? Impossible. After what we've seen, everything's on the table, Hayes. Check that data pad, Marines. We might find something there. Move on! You've reached the customs office. Plug me to that terminal so I can search the station for relevant materials. Looks like they moved those materials to the mechanical room for inspection. That's probably worth a look, if you can afford a detour, that is. That's the mechanical room. Poor bastards. They came from below. That's their leader. He should have the code breaker on him. Copy. We have the device. What's next, Sarge? We follow Hayes' instructions. Reach the AI room and open it. But keep your eyes peeled. There might be something worthy of salvage on this station. I don't think that's all the materials. Maybe they've tried to vent some? There aren't many places you can do that. Let me mark them for you. Move on! More materials. Let's hope those are still usable. Hey. Move on! Another crate of materials. Well done. Good job, squad. I'm sure it's gonna help a lot of people aboard the Otago. Hayes, we're at the AI room. Good. That space is well guarded. The codebreaker will open it, but I'm pretty sure the security system will identify the device as a threat. Meaning? You're gonna set off alarms halfway across the station. Expect company. Fine. In that case, squad, we need to establish a kill zone. All right. We need some choke points to keep the critters at bay. How about here? Or there? You still have sentry guns, but there might be more in the armory to help you out. Affirmative. That's the armory. Sentry guns. Probably left over from the 77 uprising. Let's grab those Marines. They're headed our way. The good news is, we have enough sentry guns with us. Let's use those. Good job, folks. Now let's get back to our objectives. Good. Defenses are set. Hope you're ready, squad. Codebreakers are go. Warning. Warning. Unauthorized access to AI room. Dispatch security team. Warning. Warning. They're... They're coming! They're everywhere! We've got... More! Inbound! Incoming! They're using the vents to bypass the kill zone. Watch your back! Reloading! Good work, Marines. Looks like we've got a few minutes, people. Make the most of it. Bind up and strap in. Clearance granted. Stand clear of the blast door. Nicely done, squad. Now get Hayes inside so we can grab this cancellation sequence. Sneaky bastards. These things sure don't need an access code. That terminal should do the trick. Patch me through. Give me a moment. The servers are old. That's it! That's the cancellation sequence. I have it. Now we just have to upload it in the servers room. To get there, you'll have to use that elevator. The one I was in when you first found me. Ah, oh, the memories. Shut it, Hunslet. Let's get to that elevator, squad. Cooper? No, no, that can't be... But... I guess Anand was talking about the command room. Then let's check it out. What's wrong with those synths, man? Well, they're probably protecting Cerberus. It's in their program. They can't fight it. A buffet full of robots, but no creatures to eat them? <laughs> Ain't that some luck. I think it's artificial persons now, Corporal. Maybe the critters understand they're not really... alive. Well, they're not, are they? Come on. 
You know what I mean. That kitchen. Can't say I miss the food. That's one big lunch room. Try to eat there three times a day. It'll look much smaller. That was my office. If you're having second thoughts, Hayes, I can always take you back there. That won't be necessary, Hunslet. I'm good where I'm at. McDonald's office. Keep pushing. The Cerberus room is west of your position. Hayes. I think we found Cooper. Was he... strangled? I'm afraid not. His chest... The creatures got him. Rest his soul. Cooper was brilliant. A snob, but brilliant. Meticulous. I think he kept a private log. I imagine you two got along well. Maybe we can access his log from the command room, just to assess his brilliance. Well, keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. <laughs> what did I say? Egg-loving freak. Another case closed for Detective Hunslet. Easy, Corporal. Cooper's probably responsible for Pioneer. And Hayes knew the guy. Feels like I didn't. That cult... spreads everywhere, just like these creatures. Yep. Next time we meet old acquaintances, let's remember that. I wish we could take a break here, Marines. Looks like we found our queen. Right in the middle of the Synth's maintenance center. Guess that confirms your theory on the creatures, Hayes. They're not even bothered by the androids. Incoming Synths, watch out! Good job. Don't forget to collect a sample for our good doctor. All right, this is it. Let's use the cancellation sequence on the terminal. Uploading it... right... now. Loading. It's loading. Unable to compute. Infestation has reached critical level. What? Option to override Cerberus Protocol Phase 2 has expired. Hayes, talk to me! What the hell's happening? Other considerations secondary. Planet surface is expendable. Option to override Cerberus Protocol Phase 2 has expired. We're... We're too late, Harper. There's nothing else for us on that station. We should head back to the Otago. Quiet. You corporate ladies better start explaining what the hell happened out there. It appears my superiors have been very thorough in their exploitation of me. Tell me something I don't know. The 77 Uprising. Does that ring a bell? I was there. On the wrong side of history, by the way. I know your fucking company would rather shoot innocents than lose a dollar. What are you hiding, Price? Harper, calm down. Pointing fingers won't do any good now. I'm sorry. Am I still in charge here? We need a plan, and a plan I can get behind. No more satellites or override bullshit. My men, these people, we need to leave, and soon. We still have a few days ahead of us. Maybe enough to repair the Otago. The Otago's toasted. You've seen this ship. It's barely a base. Perhaps your chief engineer will know more on that matter. It's worth a try. I'm sure Corrigan will help us out. Corrigan, listen, he's news. They're about to- Save your breath, Sarge. I heard. Then I need you to be honest with me. You reckon the Otago could take off? Sergeant, you know her. She was made to last. The bit of care and the right materials, I can assure you that this beauty will fly again. But surviving these missiles? Space? That's a whole different ballgame. Can't just stay in low orbit like Pioneer Station? You really want to bet low orbit will remain safe once Phase 2 hits? Hayes is right, Sergeant. If we want to escape this rock, our only option is a better shield and enough choir tubes for everyone. All right. So what do you need, specifically? A damn miracle. But specifically? A massive source of energy for the shield. That only solves one of our problems, though. Our cryosleep control panel was damaged during the crash, and we lost the gas mixing chip. Without it, hypersleep will be unstable. At best. You let me worry about that. First things first, the shield. Let's have a word with that director of yours, Hayes. In the meantime, Corrigan, take care of the ship, but do it fast. You got it, Sarge. Thanks. Building better worlds, huh? Time to live up to your tagline, Director Price. 
Is there something on Lethe we could use to boost our shields? Our chief engineer believes an external power source could do the trick. Pharos Spire might well have- Forget Pharos. There's no power source like that here. I have a better idea. But first, I need some guarantees. Would my employees and I be allowed aboard the Otago? Will we be safe on your ship? Do you really think we have time for a deal? A deal is the very thing that separates us from these creatures, Sergeant. The one I'm offering is simple. I need to get aboard the Otago. In exchange, I will recover your daughter. Cassandra? Is she alive? As director of the Wayland yutani operations on Lethe, I have full access to the personal data transmitters surgically implanted in the colonist. Therefore, I can confirm that your daughter is indeed very much alive. Where is she? One of my associates, Theo Stern, is tracking her PDT as we speak. Listen to me! The clock is ticking, Sergeant. I need your word. You have it, Director. Please, tell us where we can find enough energy for the shield. What you're looking for can be found in an atmospheric processor. The same technology that allows humans to breathe on this rock. One of them, Sigma-12, is still running on standby thanks to its power core. You see, Sergeant? We did build better worlds. All right. Send a squad there. I'll guide you. Listen up, Marines. It's time to leave this place for good. Corrigan reckons we can overload our shield. But for that... We'll need to steal a power core, nuclear grade. Lucky for us, we might find one just like it on Atmosphere Processor Sigma-12. There's a good chance we'll find a nest there, but standard rules of engagement apply. So if there's anyone alive down there, we get them out. We save everyone we can. All right, Marines. We're after that Atmospheric Processor's power core. Our beloved Otago needs it for its shield. So we enter, we steal the thing, and we get back to the ship. Nice and easy. According to Director Price, the processor still runs on standby, so there could be survivors working on that power core. Hayes needs access to the SATCOM to prove this little theory. So let's start there. We got a body, Sarge. Ruptured chest. Guess we can't have nice things. Squad, assume there's critters nearby. This is Sarah Randall, Administrative Director of WY Atmospheric Processor Sigma-12. Pharaoh Spire, do you copy? Anyone? You hear that? Let's have a look. This is Sarah Randall, Administrative Director of WY Atmospheric Processor Sigma-12. Pharaoh Spire, do you copy? Anyone? Sigma-12 is compromised. That cult! I still have five employees on site. Listen, these are engineers, biologists, security officers, valuable people. Please, Pharaoh Spire, you have to help us. Seems that director of yours isn't big on saving her employees, Hayes. Don't be unfair, Sergeant. If the Darwin era is here, there could be a mole among those survivors. We don't need one aboard the Otago. Fair enough, but valuable people, that we could use. Keep an eye out, Marines. There could be clues lying around. We won't go far without SACOM. Better check it first. Well, according to the decorations, there's more than one creature running around. Stay frosty, squad. Back reactivated. That's the SACOM room. Can you connect me to that terminal, Marines? On it. Good. I found a path to the processor's power core, but no specific location. That SATCOM had other interesting things to say, though. Interesting? As in? A hangar. Full of goods. Maybe it'll help Corrigan adapt the power core to the Otago's shield. I also spotted an armory, if your men need a refill. And finally, a sector map. Atmospheric processors are slightly out of my field. Not going inside blindly is probably a good idea. Thanks for the heads up, Hayes. It's your call, squad lead. Either we explore the area, or we move straight to the power core. But we better be ready. Locker room. Hey, Hunslet. Maybe there's shoes your size in there. Watch out, Sarge. My size can still kick your ass. Move on! Is that pizza? Save me a slice, squad. Fancy a read, folks? Come on, Marines. We got a job to do. You're close to the hangar. I bet these materials are worth the detour. 
The sector map isn't far. If you connect me, I could help you locate that power core more precisely. Open that door, Marines. There might be survivors inside. Move on! I'm sorry, Hayes, but I think you can forget that sector map. Some critter's last wish was to die on it. <sighs> In that case, we'll have to search the processor by hand. You know where to start, but if you need any help, ring me. What the heck happened in that infirmary? I'm not sure I want to know. But grab all the med kits you can find. You can never be too sure. What's with that building? Looks like a lab. It is. Research facilities. Installed here to study the effects of terraformation, I believe. Deploying motion tracker. Must be one of the scientists the director mentioned. From terraformation to Critter's Zoo. Dr. Buzzkill would love it. Now that we're here, we might as well check their research. Find me a terminal so I can have a look. <sighs> Alright. Their research looked promising. I just opened the doors that protected them. Go and grab some samples. You'll make a doctor happy. Easy enough. I hope we can trust these guys, Hayes. Well, you don't turn all your operation around and learn nothing in the process. Look at us, for instance. This door's been welded. Maybe there's still someone inside? Got some a wall of crates to keep the creatures outside. Pretty ironic these days. Seems like someone moved them recently. Let's take a closer look. Open up Sesame. Got a live one here. Ask him the usual. What are you doing here by yourself, pal? I'm only doing what you soldiers are doing surviving. And that involves moving those crates outside. You need all these containers for that? Do you intend to last? Yes. There's something about that guy. He's just another scavenger. Bad places are full of him. Nothing to fuss about, probably. Probably? Probably isn't enough, Harper. Ask your man to sort it out. We have a hard time trusting folks playing with containers. Sorry. Affirmative. Let's see what's... Open up Sesame. USCM, stay right where you are. Please, don't shoot. We won't if you tell me your name. Robert. My name's Robert. Wait, did he kill that guy? You a murderer, Robert? Murderer? No, I had to. That creature had attacked him. Are we doubting someone who did the right thing, Harper? Maybe he's infected. Maybe his friend wanted to do the right thing, but got killed in the process. What do you reckon, squad lead? All right, squad lead, I trust your instincts. Escort that guy to the ARC. Please help me! Relax, ma'am. We're USCM. What is she doing here? In such a small space? Is she part of the lab? You a scientist here? Yes, I was. A bioengineer. I, I, I worked on plants, basing my research on the theories of a famous way you scientist named Joseph Marlowe. We had tremendous results, until it all turned to shit. Marlowe? Did she say Marlowe? Could be a coincidence. A man of his caliber has surely influenced dozens of researchers. And just like that, they turn their little innocent terraformation lab into a bug's pet shop. Nah, I don't buy it. Come on. We didn't see much of that lab anyway. You should trust your men, Harper, not your guts. Roger that, squad lead. Bring it to the APC now. This is the entrance to the processor. They're coming from below! Get out of there, Mer Harper? Harper! I think he blacked out. Move it, squad. They're coming from the pipes below. Get out of this catwalk and reach pressure control. This is your only chance. Move! Move! That's the pressure control room. Now, activate the coolants to flood the pipes. Pressure override activated. Ceiling coolant flow in three, two, one. Operation complete. Outstanding! Next beer's on me, Hayes. Get in line. 
Listen, squad. There's something wrong about me. In case you didn't notice. But if I'm getting out of it again, you treat Hayes as if she's me. You hear? Loud and clear, Sarge. Good to have you back. I appreciate the confidence, Harper, but we should stay mobile. Follow that huge pipe. It should lead you right inside the processor. That corridor's full of eggs! Right. We might want to find another way to the processor. All right. We're in the processor. Let's get down to business. I'm pretty sure the power core should be in the center of the building, but I don't know which floor. More bad news. Power's down. Probably a containment measure. Let me check. What do you mean, containment? Is that processor closed for good? I'm not gonna lie, Harper. It should have been, but... A door's still open. According to the processor's logs, it was malfunctioning, except for technical inspection, only it never came. Well, it's your lucky day, Marines. Hold on to those flashlights and find that door. Deploying motion tracker. Motion tracker activated. I know it's dark, squad, but you can clearly see it's closed. M-577 Armored Personnel Carrier. What's a beauty like this doing here? Hey, squad. I know time's against us, but retrieving this vehicle might be the smartest move here. The APC deploys more Marines on site. And if we're to find that power core, the more the merrier. Right, Hayes? Good thinking, Harper. But we better do it quick. Functioning door I told you about. The power core can't be that far. Doesn't look like a power core to me. It's only a terminal, Hayes. Check it out anyway. It could help shut the containment measures down. Seems we found ourselves a way to this elevator. The power core should be right below. It has to be. <sighs> Safe position, take it. Oh, won't be that easy. Incoming critters! You know what to do, guys. Hold that ground. We need to deploy that bridge to reach the elevator. We need to reach two additional terminals to fully deploy it. Try to activate the lateral walkways to reach the additional terminals. Yo, Sergeant. One for dinner. No reservation. That thing's guarding the power core. We have no choice but to kill it. Easier said than done, Hayes. Maybe you could use the power surges. These pillars are dangerous to us, and I bet the Queen won't like them either. Warrior, in sight! That's the terminal, Marines. Let's use it to get to the Queen. Power core disengaged. Emergency bridge is deployed. Containment measures lifted. Nice. One power core coming right up. Let's bring Korg and her Christmas gift squad. Back to the Otago. One dead queen, one power core. I don't want to jinx it, but this feels like our first real win. I wouldn't be so quick to celebrate. Any news from Price? We'll contact her. But first, you need to see Bookard. Hey, I'm fine. I just need to know Cassandra's safe. I'm sure she is. Sergeant Martinez, what's your assessment of our new find? The APC? She's a bit banged up, but nothing we can't beat back into working shape. Should be able to deploy a bigger fire team from the next stop. Good to know. Come on, Sergeant Harper. Let's get you to the mid-bay. With all due respect, Sergeant, you look like shit. Well, thanks, Bookard. Really helpful. So, he finally decided to face his problems before they became everybody's problems? Hey! Soldiers talk, Sarge. You can't prevent that. They're on your side, Harper. They need you. I'm hoping that once you get clear of the planet, well, the Hive, you no longer suffer these attacks. Until then, take this. It's a sedative. 
It should manage the worst of the symptoms. Good. Because I've got a job to do. I'll see you on the bridge. All right, Director. Where's my daughter? My associates did not let you down, Sergeant. Last time we spoke, Stern was about to find Cassandra. With any luck, he's on his way back to Pharos already. Can I talk to her? I'm afraid these damn storms will prevent that. But I promise you, she'll be safe in our headquarters. <sighs> Did you keep your end of the bargain, Sergeant? We got the power core. My chief engineer is working on it. That leaves us with a cryosleep problem. But maybe we could find a vessel with the proper gas mixing chip. Somewhere in Jackson's Landing, perhaps? I checked with Corrigan. They won't be compatible. But the bison we saw at Berkeley's dock just might. The what? An old bison-class hauler, the Montero, now docked at Berkeley. Back in 77, rebels used it to flee this rock. And who would blame them? Yet command ordered us to stop the ship. Standard boarding party, in and out. And you reckon we could find the right ship inside? Well, the Montero's there, right? We saw it. So I guess no one's used those cryosleep chambers in a long time. We have to be sure. Even a slight mistake in the gas mix will be fatal. I know, I know. It's a long shot. But it's the only one we can afford to take right now. Sergeant, I have reason to believe that a former Wayland yutani scientist, Joseph Marlowe... Oh, we're familiar with that name. Is that so? Well, he could be the architect of this outbreak. I appreciate it will not accentuate your trust in the company, Sergeant Harper. But my teams have reported that the Montero has been buzzing with activity these past few days. Which is highly unusual for a grounded ship. Someone's trying to escape, just like us. Do you think it could be that cult director? The Darwin era? Yes. I have reason to believe they're already in control of the Montero. All the more reason to go there. I don't want these bastards anywhere near the Otago. This time, we're doing things my way. I'm counting on you, Hayes. Oh, and director? You better have my daughter. Or you'll never set foot on the Otago. And touchdown. Have fun down there. All right, Marines. Remember that place? Turns out the enemy's still here. With a ship. It's called the Montero. And we should be able to reach it via its loading elevator. Hayes is right. That's our way in. Once inside, we head straight for the hypersleep chambers, we steal their gas mixing chip, and we bounce. There's no need for heroics at this point. Would you look at that? Someone's learning. What can I say? I'm easily swayed. That's the loading elevator. Prepare to board. Great. Great. Well, I guess they know we're here. Watch out. They're coming. Stay calm, Marines. Remember your night ops training. Brothers, I... There's no way these cultists would kill the lights for good. There should be a way to restore power on that ship. I've seen my fair share of M-class ships on Pioneer. The hypersleep chambers should be located near the bridge. You heard her, Marines. Let's reach the bridge. Closed. It's getting better and better. I might have an idea. If I'm not mistaken, these doors are all rigged to one control room. Let's find it. Where would that be? The ship's rear. That's where we started back in 77. I Got a live one here? Ain't that guy lucky. Bring him to the APC if you can, squad. That room handles the power on that ship. What happened here? They only removed those two power cores out of that generator. A little power loader ride and we'll be good. Let's... All right. I think they had enough. All we need to do now is reboot the generator. Check its terminal, squad. Packing sentry gun. Nicely done, Marines. Let's get back to our objectives. Got you on my sights. That's it, Marines. Nice and slow. Check your corners. The security room. Cruisers like the Montero are full of cameras. Let's use them, squad. Let's see. Signature what... spotted. Enough eggs for a bug omelet. A sentry gun. It could be useful. That's enough rounds for a small army. Assuming we can play it smart, we could steal that ammo. That room could be a great flanking route, if we avoid the sleeping beauties. Never have enough sentry guns, right, Marines? 
I'm sure someone aboard the Otago will make good use of those. Alpha class brood advancing in sector 15. Increasing aggressiveness. Recommend immediate assault. That voice. Could it be Cassandra? It can't be. It can't. It must be their comms or something. Right. Check that terminal, Marines. Position taken. Good job, squad. Those doors should be open now, so let's reach the chambers. Warning. Warning. Suspicious activity detected. Emergency lockdown activated. Hypersleep chambers now under protection. Did I mention I hate these damn AI? They're only doing their job. It probably thinks we're trying to hurt crew members in hypersleep. Which isn't that different from what we're about to do. Let's have a talk with that AI squad. Find its room. Should be close to the bridge. What do we have here? Samples from Marlowe's research. Let's try to steal part of that legacy of his. It could turn out to be useful. Spacesuits. Do you think these creatures would survive in space? Not sure I want to find out. Grab those medikits. I don't think that auto dock would mind. Right now! Gamma class brood converging on nest site Kappa. Injuries theorized. Harper, it can't be a coincidence. Are you sure it- Positive. You wanted me to trust that Director Price of yours? That's what I'm doing. Copy. Damn. An M-U-T-H-U-R-6000. An old one. Give me a moment. Danger. The hypersleep chambers are now open. Danger. We know, we know. Get to those chambers, Marines. All right, I checked with Corrigan. The gas mixing chip should be underneath that terminal, right in the middle of those tubes. What are they doing here? Looks like they've kissed their aliens goodnight. Let's bounce before they wake up. Good job, squad. Now get back to the Otago. We have a planet to leave behind. Listen, I'm sure these samples are dangerous, but they could be extremely helpful to fight the infestation. Keep your eyes open for more clues. Now we know where to look. Don't forget to make a stop at this lab squad. you to know that the father of the voice has a place amongst us. Take him to the containment cell. I said take him. Everything I suspected about the device, it's true. Marlos found a way to suspend the gestation process, and yet your prisoner is recognized as part of the hive. Sure, I suspect he has no direct control over these now creatures, shut but... Shut up, Doc. <clears throat> All right, friend. You'd better start talking now, because that red button is getting real compelling. I don't talk. I only listen. To what? Her voice. Cassandra's voice. Don't you fucking say her name! Why? Her name is sacred. Her name is the key. You mother- The key? Yes! Cassandra has opened our minds to the hive. Through her voice, we understand their purpose. With her guidance, we feel what they feel. By her teachings, we reach a new stage of evolution. Where is she? Where it all began, of course. With the Maker. With Marlowe. 
I need to talk with Price. Becker, keep an eye on him. Harper, wait. I'm sure she has a situation under control. Here! Of all places! What a blessing! Fascinating. Really fascinating. Price, wait! What happened? Where's Cassandra? I'm truly sorry, Maiko. I did everything I could, but we've lost contact with our rescue party and... Where is she, you lying piece of shit? With Marlo? Is he working with you? What? No. Cassandra's alive. Stern was just about to find her. Where? She's at Tantalus. English, for fuck's sake! It's an underground lab. The Wayland yutani installed it long before my time. I didn't know anything about it, I swear. Send me the coordinates. Send them now. We're going there. Maiko, please, you have to believe me. I can explain everything. And you will. People need to see the true face of the company. But right now, Harper needs my help. Brothers and sisters of the Marine Corps, I'm asking for your help. I know, again, right? But this one feels personal. Some of you may know it already. I have a daughter here on Lethe. Last time I heard of her, she was in Tantalus, an underground base. Supposedly, Director Price and her best men to get her. But you know these mercenaries. They're always counting on us to finish the job. So I'm going to Tantalus. I'm going to find my daughter. And I need volunteers. Who's with me? All right, squad, let's move up. But don't be fooled by the peace and quiet. This is likely to go to shit real fast. Don't forget. The sergeant's daughter is around somewhere. Don't pull the trigger too quickly. Pass blocked. Can you give us a hand with the APC, Sarge? Now that you're here, use C4. We'll have much more control of the explosion. But be careful. That boom will attract attention. Good job. Now progress towards the research facility. <clears throat> Expect resistance. Standing by for air support. Get those missiles ready, Hunslet. They might come in handy. They're headed our way. Okay. Yeah, okay. We can't sense any others. You good, Jonas? Yeah, it's been better. I'll hold it together. Okay. I hate to break this up, but you've got cultists incoming. They don't hang around, do they? Get to cover. On it. Too many lunatics too fast. This won't be easy. Don't worry. We'll find her. I've got a visual on a way into the northern structure. Looks like there's a linking passageway from the western building. That place doesn't strike me as a super secret lab. It will be underground anyway. Director Price lost contact with her team before she could confirm the precise coordinates for the lab. If I'm gonna root it out, I need a SATCOM link. Looks like we've got a SATCOM uplink on the second floor of the main structure. Can't hurt to check it out. Good call. Squad, let's find that SATCOM. Let's find my daughter. Too bad we couldn't land here. And miss this great hike in the snow? Come on, Sarge, just enjoy the mountain air. On it. Let's... Judging by the design, their door's probably sealed from the inside. Might want to unlock it, just in case we need a fast exit. Light him up! That's the security room, squad. Check those cameras. We need the intel. On my way! Elevator in sight. Plenty of cultists in the area. Don't take them head on. Move to flank. Brothers, I'm hit! Well done, Marines. This elevator should take us right to the SATCOM room. The oppressor's here! Open the shutters! Alexia, send it in, brothers! We spot it! Good job. That's the SATCOM console. Dipl Uplink established. Damn! That lab is buried deep under the mountain. Looks like a blast hardened elevator shaft behind a massive door. No signs of access codes. A proper doomsday vault, huh? Any other way in? Not without digging through the mountainside. No. It's the door or nothing. Find something, Hayes. My daughter's waiting. I... Looks like there are power loaders down in Hangar C. Maybe they can force the door open before their servers burn out. Let's give it a try, Marines. Okay. Somebody gets in a power loader quick. Everyone else, set for covering fire. Don't leave it hanging. Looks like your power loader trick worked, Hayes. Thank you. But 
What can I say? I've learned from the best. That you have. Now let's get inside and find Cassandra. Why do you struggle? Embrace what is coming. Not everyone can be chosen, but everyone can serve in their way. Isn't that right, Sergeant Harper? That's not a pre-recorded message. Do you suppose Marlowe's actually here? I hope so. So I can shut him up for good. How are you holding up? The sedatives Bookhart gave me. They help. Well, there's always a whisper, like... Hearing someone talking in the next room. Hang on, Jonas. You still have a daughter to meet. Come on, team! Creepy fucking place. Where to, Hayes? Frankly, I don't know. Secret lab means secret plans. Search that place, find Cassandra, and get your men out of there. Only one of those crushers could have slammed the doors that hard. That terminal should operate these cells. I can't tell if Cassandra's in one of them, though. Enough of this! Open those damn cells, squad! Jonas! We don't know what's behind those doors. We might learn more by searching the room. Stay frosty, Marines. Guy's injured. Toss him his gear and share our frequency. We need to talk. All right. I'm Sergeant Jonas Harper, USS Otago. And you are? In your den. Name's Theo Stern. Captain. Way you corporate security. Price's famous associate, huh? How did a hotshot like you end up here? Mind your tone, son. Chasing Cassandra, of course. And losing good soldiers in the process. That base is a proper shithole. Yeah. We noticed. I don't believe we meant. Deputy Administrator Michael Hayes, formerly of Pioneer Station. <sighs> Delighted. Hey, listen, folks, I need to take care of this wound fast. I imagine you got a vehicle nearby. May I pop in? Depends. What's in it for us? Well, first, I know my way out. I won't drag your men behind. Second, I can open the lab doors for them. Here. Take a look. Gotta love those code breakers. Happy? Fine. Join me in the APC. But don't try anything stupid. We clear? <laughs> Crystal. All right. That stern got us more rooms to explore. Hurry. We need to find Harper's daughter. Everything you can about this complex. 
try to send us in blind. She's not big on sharing information she doesn't think you need. I don't know if you've noticed. Where is she, goddammit? We're getting there, Harper. That's a surveillance room. We should be able to unlock the high security doors from here and move deeper into the complex. All right, Marines. Take a look. But stay sharp. Those creatures, they know we're here. An examination room, maybe? Marlo probably needs those queens to make his ascension work. She's in pain. Been held captive for so long. You almost sound sympathetic. No. But her desire for revenge. That I understand. Cassandra was detained? What do you reckon, Captain? Detained? Cassandra's a Wayland Utani project, some kind of program, right? She's my daughter. And we believe Marlo is interested in her, but I guess Price is too. <laughs> Easy, tough guy. I had no idea. This is just one big misunderstanding. My team was never here for a girl, nor a bloodbath. She tricked us both. Then why am I the only one who's lost everything? Did you? Look around, man. I don't see my guys anywhere. I want answers. Right fucking now! Right. Patch me into that terminal squad. Access and terminal. Okay. Pitiful security measures. That's weird. Give me a moment to download all the data. Oh my god. Harper, can you see this? Harper? Yes, I can. Ascended consciousness chafes at being trapped in this inelegant, obsolete body. But I need you. Humanity needs you. Let me go. This will help you rest. I know it can't be easy. Sleep now. Yes. Your namesake was forever ignored, but you? I will always heed your warnings. Together, we will guide the faithful to a glorious future. The cradle is prepared. Good, good, take her to the compound, but be gentle with her. She is our bridge to a better humanity. Go tell me you've got a location for this compound. That was Cassandra, wasn't it? Yes. Where did they take her? I'm looking. But someone did a thorough job of erasing some of these files. I'm uploading what's left to the Otago's mainframe. Got technical specs for this cradle, a list of test subjects. Otherwise, nothing. Ah, now that is unfortunate, if not entirely unexpected. Destruct sequence initiated. Commence evacuation. Repeat, commence evacuation. Well, 
What is it to be? Weapons down, squad. We need him. Bring that piece of shit back to the APC. Come on. Light him up! There's no shame in embracing your abilities, Sergeant. Among all the obedient colonists and soldiers the company duly provided, you certainly were my most promising subject. You showed me a way. I knew it from the moment I met you in cryosleep. All those years ago. All this potential. Sadly, I was already too late. Your training, it would have lessened your capacities. I needed someone newer, purer, someone innocent. Shut up, you freak! Come on! Move it! On it! Why blow up your own laboratory? Where's my daughter? Oh, I had nothing to do with the laboratory's destruction. I'm afraid you'll have to ask Director Price. What the hell are you talking about? Your mission was to secure the data in Project Cassandra. As she couldn't access it herself, she sent your team. Then yours. We all became expendable the moment your precious Otago received the data she wanted. That fucking woman. And my daughter? Is she expendable too? Not to me. Her gift makes all of this possible. Where is she? I can't tell you. Harper! He's a fucking son! Of course. Marlowe learned early that Price only pretended to share his vision. She was only interested in securing his research for the company. He couldn't trust anyone other than himself, so he surrounded himself with precisely that. Where is Cassandra? I can't tell you what I don't know. Like I said, Marlowe has trust issues. But I can tell you one thing. That pain you experience whenever you make contact with the Hive, it is nothing to what your daughter experiences. She is in constant action. Stand down! What the fuck have you done? We needed him! Like he said, he didn't know anything. Well, he sure as hell can't tell us anything now. Hansa, we're done here. Bring them back to the barn. Copy that. You got room for one more? No way in hell I'm going back to Fire Aspire. I'll be black bag for sure. Okay, but you're gonna earn your keep. Suits me just fine. But there's one thing I can't figure out. How does it help Price if the files she wants are on the Otago? Ah! Uh, oh, hold a moment. There's something strange going on with the comms. Uh, what the hell? Hayes, do you copy? Hayes, can you hear me? You all right? Harper! Come on, come on. Got it. A pity. There's no other way. External comms. I don't know. The ship, she's acting strange. Our bulkheads are wide open. We're inviting all the creatures aboard. Get me back online, Chief. We got Harper's squad in the field. Working on it, but I could use another pair of hands. Defensive perimeter offline. Defensive perimeter offline. 
Screwing with us. Haze to all hands. Our plasma turrets just shut down. Martinez, I want our response teams to get those turrets back online. Already on it. Deploying now. Cargan, I'm coming to you. We need external comms back. Harper just lost it. Becker! Doc! I don't have time for this. procedure. I have to launch it before it leaves. Come on, come on. Be advised. Starting decontamination procedure. Corgan! Corgan, do you copy? Hey, what is happening? There's a critter on the loose. What? Where? In the lab. I've managed to contain it, but with all the Marines deployed outside, we can't be too cautious. I need you to lock everyone in the armory now. Will do. How about you? Don't worry about me. I have an idea. If only I could grab those pheromones Becca was working on. That might lead it into the containment cell. All right. Let's put this in the cell now. Am I really doing this? Trap is set. If I stay here, I'm dead. It's working. Let's push that push button now. I killed it! Decontamination procedure completed. Corrigan? The situation is under... Hayes? What did you just say? Creature, it... It escaped. Tell me everyone is with you in the armory. Yes, ma'am. Almost. Bukhard wanted to stay with the wounded in the med bay. And Becker's nowhere to be found. Bukhard is in danger. I have to help her. Get out of there! No way! I'm not leaving any wounded troops behind. You don't understand this, something! <gasps> What's wrong? Booker! Get out of there! No! <laughs> Morgan? Do you read me? Bookard. She's dead. Shit! Join us at the armory! We'll try to open the doors for you! Hurry! Okay! I'm on the other side! Let me in! Damn! These commands no longer respond! Quicker, Cargan! Quicker! I'm doing my best! Shit! I got it on the motion tracker! It's coming for you, Hayes! Go hide in the cryosleep room! Now! Blocking the way out. I have to find a way to divert its attention. Corgan, I'm out. Well, what about this door? Sorry, Hayes. Something's wrong with our AI. It keeps locking and unlocking doors at random. The only one staying open is in the hangar. That would be Becker. That lying snake. I have to stop him. Welded? Really? Corgan? Looks like Becker sealed the access to the hangar. Becker? Becker did all this? Great. Just tell me where I can find a welder, okay? Elevator M2 in the med bay. It's under maintenance. You should find some tools there. Okay. Elevator M2 it is. That terminal. Better check those cameras to locate that creature.
dispersal. We've only got a few minutes to take this ship. The ARC! I must reach it! That's far uh, enough, Hayes. Why? Why did you do it? I owe an immeasurable amount of money to the company. Price needed the data and the ship. Turns out I could provide her with both and erase my debt. Finally. What is so funny? <laughs> Sit! Sit. Shut the reactor down. I just need to vent this reactor. That's the console. By the way, Michael, this is a terrible plan. Cold shutdown sequence in progress. Fuck. I'm slurred into the middle before that thing reboots. Seven. Six, Come at me, you bitch! Five, four, three, two, one. I did it! Cargan, I did it. What the hell happened here? Becker, our xenobiologist. He was in debt with the company, with Price. I think she placed him here. He set the damn creature loose so she could steal the Otago. I handled it. That woman's a weasel. Should have quit long ago. Yes? Well, who's to say you've quit now? Who's to say you're not another spy? Ease down, Administrator. I don't feel like easing down. Look, Price tried to double-cross me, too. I'll do anything for a rematch. You have my word. The word of a Wayland yutani employee. And a professional killer at that. Yeah, what's the difference with that sergeant of yours? Do not bring Harper into this. I'm sorry. How's he doing? Not great. I have to check with Book... I mean, in the med bay. You know what? Go see him. But remember, you want to bring Price down, I can help you get into Pharaoh's Spire. It's got to be worth a try. Price is our only link to Cassandra, to the real Marlowe. But if you try anything, you go down with her. I'll keep that in mind, ma'am. How's he doing? We managed to stabilize him. But without Bookard, I'm not sure for how long. Maybe we should just put him in cryo sleep already and get the hell out of here. Not until I get Cassandra from Marlowe. Harper needs his daughter. Do you really think she's out there? Is she even alive? She is. I'll find her. Stern offered his... help. That mercenary? Can we trust him? Seems that Price knows where Cassandra is. And I don't see how we could get into Pharaoh's Spire without him. Not much of a choice, huh? <laughs> I hate to say it, but you're getting better at this. Cargan told me how you handled the critter. Ballsy move. I did what I had to do. Administrator Hayes? Are you up to going after Price? What if I'm not? Don't worry. I'll be in the APC, keeping an eye on Stern. All right, then let's do this. For Harper. Yes. For Harper. Everyone listen. I know you won't trust a Merc. But I'm sure you'll trust Hayes, right? She'll be riding with me in the APC. And maybe you can trust a former Marine. That's right. 
I did six tours with the USCM, including the Tiensum campaign. So you don't have to worry about me. I'm a tough cookie. Worry about Cassandra and everyone Marlowe has imprisoned. We need the location of his base. So we're going to get it out of price. The worst boss I ever had the pleasure to work with. I hope no one fancied a career at Wayland Utani, because this will kill your chances good and hard. I can't get any closer without being shredded by the Spire's anti air turrets. This is as far as I go. Copy that. Marines, we'll have to make final approach through the streets. Lots of nooks and crannies. So keep your eyes open for hostiles. Looks like the main avenue's sealed off. Side streets might be clear, but you can bet it'll get cozy. How'd you like your new ride, Deputy Administrator? Can't say that the APC is too comfortable. Try to drive around the potholes. <laughs> I'll bear that in mind. Come on, Marines. Let's get into that spire. We need to break the bread with Price. Place was never pretty, but it used to look a whole hell of a lot better than this. Looks like a war zone. Pretty much. Is there any chance we've got survivors? Price will still be ticking. Count on it. Cockroaches always pull through. Motion tracker at- APC ain't getting through that. But we might be able to cut through that warehouse. If you're wasting your time, see the gate design? It's an export dock. Strictly internal access only. If you're really in a hurry, I might have eyes on a navigable alleyway. <laughs> you might say, time's a factor here. And I thought you were enjoying the tour. Marines, let's find us a way through. What do you make of this resonance? We've seen it before. When a queen is nearby. Look alive, squad. Well, that must be what they call a queen. Weird one. We never saw a queen on the surface before. Must be happening within the hive. Well, I imagine we'll find out soon enough. Planning C4. Careful, folks. That explosion will short track some company. Good job. Let's see what we got. Hey, Cap. I've got a bogey approaching your position. Looks like a way you dropship. Copy that. Have they made you? <laughs> Please remember who you're speaking to. These corporate skyjocks don't know how to dance. But they've deployed a combat team. Thanks for the heads up, Hunsett. We'll be ready. Hostiles down. Good job, Marines. Strange how they found us so fast. Don't you think, Stern? Listen, Hayes. You want this mission to succeed? You'll have to trust me. If you don't, I might as well leave you alone with this vehicle. You're right. I'm sorry. Let's head for Ferris Spire. Yes, ma'am. The spire's in full lockdown. We're not getting in there. Relax. Just means we'll have to get creative. See that spot? Insertion set off a truckload of mining explosives back in 77. Almost took out the building, but Wayu was just too cheap to repair it. The APC's plasma cannon will blow a hole right through. We just gotta find a way to get the APC to the plaza. That export warehouse we passed earlier. The squad should be able to gain access from the supply side. Maybe they can get the main gates open? Sounds like a plan. Roger. Eyes open, sleepyheads. That dropship's bringing you some more playmates. Completely ah! dumb, Marines. It doesn't bother you? They were your colleagues. And they chose the wrong side. I recognize the insignia. Price is elite. The answer only to her. We find more common ground with the bugs. Now. Shall we get back to it? They're still coming! We need backup, now! Breaking the well. Hold your fire! There are civilians in here. Shit. Squad lead, if you talk your way out of this, or you take the shot, I leave it up to you. All right, I'll stick around. Don't mind me. That's one less gun pointed at us. Let that merc go, folks. We've got. 
got a nest. Outstanding. Tread carefully, people. Let's try not to wake anything while we find the door release. Find a way to move the APC around, Marines. There should be a terminal to open that warehouse nearby. Looks like we've got a clear route. Hunzid, can you confirm? You're good to go from up here. Just take the corner slow. Position. So far, so good. But before we start slapping each other on the backs, maybe we should get to cracking the spire. Price ain't stupid. Squad, we're gonna pack the wall with explosives, just in case the pulse cannon doesn't have the kick we need. Let's get to it. Planning C4. We good to go? Looks clean to me. You can start the music whenever you're ready. Hell, why not? Makes for a memorable resignation, if nothing else. Heads down in five, four, three, two, one. Breaching now. Relocating the APC to the atrium. I have better fire lanes for anything coming at you street side. Check that hole, squad. You have to find a way to move up. <sighs> Elevators seem to be offline. Safe tracker. Ambush! You got commandos inbound! Help me. Price has too many foot soldiers and we don't have enough. You're saying we should give up? Is that it? Hell no! We need to think outside of the box. If we shut down the external defenses, the creatures will be able to reach the spire. Should keep the security teams busy. That's a plan. Not a pretty one, but a plan nonetheless. We'll have to check the security room to set it in motion. <sighs> All right, squad. Let's see which group of inhuman freaks wins. Use those cameras to deactivate the defense perimeter. All right. Open that door and shut off the tarts. We need to keep these commandos busy. Defense perimeter's down. Now the fun begins. Damn it! Reinforcements coming from the upper levels. They must have spotted us. Hostiles neutralized. Time to go up, Marines. But the security level's locked off. Price hit pretty well. Yeah, I can't override that level without a pass. But we should find one on the executive level. Bit of a scavenger hunt, that's all. Okay, Stern. Where do we find the pass we need for the security level? Let's start with the security post. You never know, we might get lucky. Meticulous plan you sold us on. Setting a motion tracker. You might want to check those cameras. You can bet Price is prepared a warm welcome. Another group. Check those windows. Maybe we could open them, let the critters do the rest. Looks like a freaking trench. There's no way we could attack them head on. But I'm pretty sure we could flank them. More signals. They're waiting for us. But we might be able to use the ventilation system to bring the creatures inside. These guys are locked up tight. Let's try the other groups before. We should start with that group near the ventilation system. Do you know where it's operated? Maintenance room. Why are you asking? Oh, I get it. We shut off the fans. The creatures will get inside that much easier. Indeed they will. Welcome to the Revolution Administrator. Come on, team. Squad lead, while we're up here, keep your eyes open for any proof of what Price has been up to. Reckon you can take Wayne and Yutani down with a few documents? I thought you were real. I am, but I'll settle for something that'll keep us out of jail. I don't want to survive this horror only to be eaten alive by corporate lawyers for everything we've had to do here. We need leverage. You're the boss. If we're gonna do this, the best bet's the admin suite. Let's rock! Wow. Yeah, we could attack them head on like the brave boys we are. Or we could play it sneaky and find a flanking route. Hurry up! <laughs> Bringing the fight to them is a bit bold. How about we find a way to open those windows we saw earlier? I think the windows are controlled from here. Let's take a look. Check that terminal, Marines. I'll never get used to that. 
Site files hiding behind high level encryption. Wanna lay odds that these are some more of Price's dirty little secrets? Nuh uh. Where can we find them? I don't know. But according to this, they've been opened recently. Let's check this floor for offices and personal terminals. If we recover these files, I can always work on them later. There must be something we can use. Sounds good to me. Hurry up, you slugs! We've got the first file. Come on, team. That's maintenance room. You'll be able to use the ventilation system from here. All right, squad. Use that terminal. They had it coming. Search the leader, squad. Recovered. Just one to go. That's it. Hopefully I can crack these open and find something we can bargain with once we get back home. Deputy Administrator Michael Hayes, formerly Pioneer Station, now an activist. It's a good look for you. Time will tell. No pass, huh? Let's find more commandos. It's gonna be difficult. You've got incoming. It's a pass, all right, but it's not the right one. Maybe it opens the door to the last commando group. Let's try it, people. Eyes sharp. Enemies closing on your position. That's the last mob. Give them hell. Check that leader, folks. Start. Is this what we're after? Looking good. Should be able to access security level now. Oh, crap. Hey, guys. There's tons of critters climbing that building. Security level will have to wait. Hold that room, people! There's fucking loads of creatures passing in front of these cameras. Stay sharp, Marines. Roger. Whoa! Four critters trying to join the party. Get ready, guys. It's a drone! You're in the clear. Head to that security level before they climb that corporate ladder. Affirmative. I don't know how you made it this far, but you're going no further. Quiet. He didn't see us. These beasts keep climbing! Reloading! What's behind that door, Stern? Dropship landing pads and Price's own private elevator, of course. But it's locked. We'll have to go to the main security room just down the hall. <sighs> Door's locked. Again! Is there another way around? Might have to get creative. Head for the control room and we'll see what options present themselves. Got you in my- Open up, Sesame! Dropship's gonna be trouble. Not if you shut off the anti-air turrets so I can swing by. So you are still awake up there. Stern, can we deactivate those turrets? Once we're in the security room, sure thing. We've gotta get in there first. That's the control room. Check that terminal. We're looking for structural blueprints. Any weak point we can exploit. Trust me, I have an idea. They're heading our way! Looks like a colleague of yours is open to breaching the spire's structure, Stern. From the armory to the barracks. That's our way into the security room. Let's move like we mean business, people. On it! Looks like we'll be able to enter the security room from here. We just have to go through the barracks. Let's see what- All right, Marines. Lock and load. These mercs you're fighting, they're ready for a big, bloody last stand. Hurry up, you slugs! Stern. You okay? These were your men after all. My men? I wish they were. Those are Price's men. Sooner or later, she would have sent those poor bastards out to die. Just to defend the balance of profit and loss. They wouldn't have flinched. That's your cue. Focus fire on target. Change in clip. Let's get that door cracked. 
That console should give you access to open the terrace doors. Move on! More stores are opening. Any sign of a way to shut off the turrets? Negative. Stern? I guess I was wrong. They must be isolated. We have to hack them manually. But we couldn't do that with the doors closed, could we? That door? You really want them to place a C4 while the dropship's still buzzing around. Right. Let's take care of the turrets first. Hanslin, wait for our signal. We're shutting those things off the hard way. Keep your heads down. First turret disabled. Bring him down! Second turret's down. Time to join the party, Hanslin. Together we can fix this. Together? After all these deaths? If memory serves me right, you largely contributed to these casualties, Maiko. You activated the Cerberus Protocol, correct? I did. I had to. Right! You did it because you understand. You understand the companies and the general interest are one and the same. Marlo was right. Crazy, that is. The things he found in that mine. What they could mean for pharmaceutics, space travel, security. The applications are virtually limitless. I wouldn't want any of that. Then think about the revenues these creatures represent. Imagine. Space stations a hundred times bigger and safer than Pioneer. So in the end, that's what this is about? Money? Numbers? How could you be such a machine? Really? Oh, not you, Maiko. Spare me the whistleblower lecture, will you? Who do you think I am? A synth? <laughs> Excuse me? A synth? I've pretty much built this world. You really think a synth would have handled half of what I've done on Leafy? It all makes sense now. What? Maiko, listen. Your assessments. Your ploys. Two of your teams left for dead. Your extensive knowledge of the station. Of the atmospheric processors. I'm the damn director of that rock. Don't you get it? 
And yet, you couldn't stop that protocol. Would you listen to me? Everything out there, it's mine. I could have saved these people. But you didn't. So much power, and you did nothing with it. Except protecting the assets of this fucking company. We could have talked. Harper. He would have welcomed you on board. But you didn't think of that, did you? You didn't think of your own life. Not a single time, right? Do you think a human would do that? Maiko. These assets? Marlo's research? I don't have it anymore. It's all uploaded somewhere on the Otago. Burn it! Print it! Sell it to Siegson or the UPP for all I care. But take me with you, please. Cassandra, where is she? Is she even alive? Do you have that stored somewhere in that carbon processor of yours? Stop it! I am not a synth. <sighs> Look, she's probably with all their prisoners. In their city, below Old Divai. A city? Marlo's lair. Ancient and... alien. God, he was so obsessed with that place. And then he became obsessed with her. He wouldn't keep Cassandra anywhere else. Now please, take me with you! No. Maiko! Look at me! I'm not a synth! I doubt you're human. Maiko? Listen to me! I'm not a fucking synth! I am not a synth! I'm not a synth! I'm not a synth. I'm not a synth. Now! Okay, ma'am. I'm on it. Defenses are set, Hayes. We're holding for now. No. Damn, he's not doing any better, is he? No. His vital signs are falling fast and hard. If we get him away from these creatures, he might recover. Maybe. Cassandra. We'll get her back, Jonas. I promise. Shield operational. Cryosleep chamber's ready. The moment of truth has arrived, Hayes. Are we going through those platforms or what? No. Not yet. We need to hold the line. Are you crazy? Those creatures are everywhere. Cerberus is about to go nuclear According and to Price, Marlow took control of an ancient city. I'm not sure of its exact nature. There could be dozens of prisoners there. I won't abandon them. Cassandra's alive, for sure. We still got time before Cerberus launches. It'll be tight, but we can do it. Hayes, are you okay risking everyone on this boat? Yes. Because that's the job. We save everyone we can. Everyone. You and me, we were part of this. We kept our heads down and did our jobs and let all this happen. We have a responsibility to those people, because no one else at Weyland Yutani ever saw them as more than numbers on a balance sheet. Well, if you put it like that, I guess I'm in. Good, because I need you on the APC. Stay focused. We may know the place, but this time, we have to go deeper into that dig site. If there's an underground city down there, there should be an elevator of some kind to reach it. We save everyone, not just Cassandra. Everyone. Let's see what's inside. That should be the door leading to the main freight elevator. Get it open. Make no mistake, people. The enemy could be right behind that door. What are they doing? They're taking him below. They're here! Kill the oppressor! Move on! <laughs> Let's rock! A glorious! Good job. The area looks secure. Let's see what this poor guy has to say. Oh, thank you. Thank you. They took me and so many others. I think they're in that mine. Don't worry. We'll get them. Pressure! 
Whoever's here, stop them! Well, they definitely know we're here. Get the cover, and let the big guns do the talking, people. APC on the move. Cover your ears. Don't get carried away, Captain. We're blind here. Check the nearby security room for camera squad. Hayes is right, Marines. We need that camera feed to learn more about this mine and where Cassandra and the prisons are located. We're in. Let's check those cameras, shall we? Would you look at that? Our fanatical friends piled up some crates. Could be useful. Ah, that door's gonna be a problem for the APC. We need to get it open. That's our prisoners. Let's get them out of here. The control room. We must operate all of this area. We should check it out. That's one hell of an airlock. The entrance to the mine complex itself, probably. All right. That might be slightly less mysterious, but we have to move. Open these doors next, you Marines. There should be a terminal nearby. Come on. I suggest you start exploring that treatment area. Remember that door blocking the APC? This terminal can't be that far. You make it look easy, squad. Nicely done. Looks like you're done with the treatment area. But Cassandra's nowhere to be found. We have to dive deeper into the complex. That's the terminal we were looking for. Get to open the door, people. Your carriage is waiting. If they've built a barricade, it probably means we're on the right track. You've really got the hang of this, don't you? Not sure you need me along at all. I had a good teacher. Okay, people. Lead me to that barricade, will you? Send us your... Ready that C4, Marines. We need to weaken that barricade. You know the drill, people. Get around that garage door to unlock it. Bring it down! Access granted. Careful, Marines. This garage has been turned into a proper fortress. All right. Get that damn door open. We'll get rid of them with the APC. The terminal is right next to you. Hurry. Chosen, so why would he do that to me? Uh, needles, the experiment. Please, 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 get us out of here. You have any idea what he's talking about? Yeah. Yeah, we've seen this. Well, Harper did. You think these poor saps are backups for Cassandra? Um, looks that way. Hell of a coincidence otherwise. What about the other captives? Those without markers? I don't think we're gonna find any. We're too late. I just hope Cassandra's still alive. Now's not the time to lose faith, Administrator. Let's bring these survivors to safety, then we'll find her. I promise. Extraction confirmed. They're in shock, but they'll be fine. Did somebody order a pair of plasma cannons? All right, folks. We'll hold position while you find a way to move the APC further. And keep an eye out for Cassandra. She may be detained in the lower levels. Move on! Damn it! Motion tracker's down. Any suggestions? Probably the amount of trimonite close by. I heard that stuff makes him go a bit squirrely. That's another camera terminal. That beat could be helpful. See those walls? They've been reinforced. 
Probably to support massive machinery. A dead end. That place is a freaking maze. They must really like that door. Probably the passage we're looking for. It's your lucky day, people. Another armory. That's too many zealots in one place, if you know what I mean. On it. Got another barricade. Would you take a look, Marines? through that gallery, right in front of you. Bastard! Oh, that's it! That's the standby generator. Try to reactivate it. Dang it! That damn door should be back online. How about we check it out? These doors are extra secured, just like Pioneer's airlocks. You'll have to operate the launching sequence on three different terminals. And you can bet this will trigger an alarm. Gotta love those way you engineers. All right, people, set your defenses. On my way. Listen. See no! You're doing great. You should be able to find a line to sequence on the third terminal. Doors open. Get your asses out of there. Wait! If we don't close that door now, more creatures will reach the upper levels. We have to seal it. This could take a while. Cover me. On it. Looks like you got yourselves a ride up. You're back in the game, Marines. Good news, people. Motion trackers are back online and no more static. There's more. Your signal is close. You must be on the other side of that airlock. And the place is well guarded. Get rid of the company and open that big-ass door, squad. Nicely done, but I'm afraid their defenses are only getting stronger. Which proves we're getting close. Hang in there, Marines. Move, move! That's what I thought. The opening mechanism has been sabotaged. We need a way to force that door open. We walked past a lot of mining material back there. Perhaps we could use one of those power loaders. That could work, if they're not too old at least. Power loaders leave tracks. They may lead you to them. All right, let's give it a go. Make sure that power loader reaches the door so we can force it open. Move it! Don't move. Nicely done, Marines. Now cover that loader. This could take a while. We've got incoming. I'm afraid we woke up all the creatures living below. Need extra firepower? Just ring me. Nope, we can't use this suit. It's toasted. Way you restricted area. Has a nice ring to it. I think we found what we're looking for. We're entering the mine complex proper. It must be where they're holding Cassandra. Something on a tracker. Sick. Tread carefully. That's another screaming one. No way through without killing that thing. You know what to do. End of the line, Marines. I think we're there. Protect the Ascended! Protect Marlow's dream! Repel the oppressor! Repel the oppressor! Looks like this party's crowded, folks. Get to open the door and let the cavalry in? Looks like they got. Oh, we're at Marlowe's front door. Where Cassandra could be. Lower and deeper still. That place you mentioned, do you really think it's there? There's only one way to find out. Use that terminal to deploy the landing pad squad. We need to lead Hunslet over there. Warning. Landing control activated. Opening tunnels for incoming aircraft. Stand clear of the landing pad. Damn those way you protocols. The signal's gonna attract everything left in the mine. Joining you as fast as I can. These underground passages are really narrow. All right, people. This is it. Make or break. Set a defensive perimeter near the APC. We have to hold that place until reinforcements arrive. Changing that! Hey, Sharp. This was only their vanguard. Shit! Sir, you've 
read me, Cap? We're halfway there. Hurry it up, Hunslet. You're gonna miss the party. Almost there, almost there. Get your guys ready to bounce out of that dropship, Hunslet. We're running out of options. Tango, I think we did it. We did it. Hunslet, what's your ETA? Approximately just about now. Where the fuck do you think you're going? I made Jonas a promise. I'm gonna get Cassandra out. I owe him that much. This whole place is about to get nuked off the face of the planet, remember? So I guess I'll be quick. You mean I guess we'll be quick? I can't ask you to do that. You didn't. But we're coming anyway. All right, enough. I always told Harper the stupidity was contagious. Fuck are you? His legacy. How many sins has this guy made of himself? Where's Cassandra? Oh, you're looking for the voice. I'm afraid you'll have to go deeper into our sanctuary. Shouldn't we just shoot this guy? Go ahead. Shoot me. You humans and your obsession with entropy. Oh, hi there. It appears we have visitors today. Give me a fucking break. It's so lovely to have you here. Look how well she worked. One cannot cease to be amazed by the Ascended. To think these corporate fools believe they could harness their power. How amusing. I wish I could have been there. When they first tried. Man meeting the ultimate organism. Your innocence, all so pure. Facing the cold perfection of the Void. If only they had... This place doesn't end. Where's Cassandra? Gigantic. This whole planet's a freak show. So, this used to live in that city? Probably. You see its chest? This was a host for one of those creatures. How long has this thing been here? This ain't the time to be playing archaeologist. Come on, there's a passage over here. There you are. I suppose you've met the owners of these premises. 
There's so much we could learn from them just by walking those galleries. Guess we found the big ass version of these damn eggs. Doesn't matter how big you are, this creature will adapt. It always does. This way, don't be afraid. You don't exactly match what they were made for. Do we really have to do this? Seems like a terrible idea. I'm afraid we have no choice. Come on. What could possibly happen to you? Hurry up! The eggs! They're opening! <laughs> Relax, you're fine. I'm only kidding. See? You made it. Cassandra's not far now. They're here. Enough of these damn synths! Permission to engage! There are dozens of them. Save your ammo and focus on finding Cassandra, Sergeant. You, you that have come this far, take her. But you have to promise. Promise you will take care of her. She embodies years of research. Decades. She's the pinnacle of our Maker's work. He who has sacrificed so much. If only he could stand with us today. To witness Cassandra's first steps. To finally reach the culmination of human evolution. She is the only voice the Hive answers to. The bridge between your two species. The door to Xenosynthesis. Can you hear me? Who... who are you? I'm a friend of your father's. Dad! He's here. No. It's waking up. Guys, I have a bad feeling about this. We need to hurry. <laughs> Cassandra. Yes! 
out of here. Let's get the hell out of here before these nukes detonate! We did it. We did it. 